That's better. I, I heard a giggle from Flux trying to hold it in. So we, we'll count that as here. <laughs> okay. So we're, for the sake of convenience, going to start off with a lot of you. Uh, recently booked package, uh, package passage on the same ship. Um, I mean, we got a droid here. One of them might have put book package. <laughs> this is true. And uh, as you can see, we have this nice, lovely view of the galaxy. Uh, you all, if I can zoom in. Are going to be roughly in this general. Come on. Oh my god, I hate you. I'm so if you don't have the right tool, you can't do the fucking ping. Here you go. You're all roughly around here. Um, okay. Heading heading down into the uh, the Arcanist sector and the outer the outer rim for your various reasons. Um, when as uh, evening approaches on your hyperspace journey, uh, those of you who are organic uh, find sleep comes surprisingly easy, and uh, those of you who are not. Uh, find yourself suddenly filled with a lot of electricity. <laughs> Ouch. Um, and a lot of you blank out. Uh, you come to uh, inside of a cave or what appears to be a cave anyway um, with a rather hang on, art library this guy. Meditative oh. trance doesn't say anything about can't be put to sleep. <laughs> I'm knocked the fuck out. Look, what See a rather, is... rather rough-looking Gungan in, in various uh, Bith, Weequay, and Tweetlick hooligans about um, looking at you and the other people who had booked passage on your ship. Uh, and uh, as you all are coming to collectively, uh, he smiles and uh, says to you all, Ah, uh, you're so welcome, welcome. I hope you enjoy trip. Uh, I would not do anything quick, uh, mind you. Uh, uh, all please direct your attention, uh, those you will have them, uh, to your own necks. I look at okay. my neck. I feel my neck. Uh, there appears to be a metal collar on all of your necks. <laughs> please oh, don't uh, tell me there's a bolt on me as well. Uh, there is a bolt on you. Uh, <sighs> uh, you're also... Uh, being carted off and aren't <laughs> are actively being taken out of the room deeper into the caves as he's speaking, along with other uh, droids and uh, possessions and things. Uh, you, you're essentially being carted off as loot, as opposed to being treated as a prisoner. Uh, uh, this this fun little device uh, will zap you if I push this button. He holds up a little controller. Uh, if I don't like what you're doing, uh, if you leave. Our fun little paradise. Uh, the surface is a wild forest. Uh, it will probably kill you, but just to be safe, if Quit you leave... Second. What do I see when I start to look around? Uh, you can tell that this has been artificially like dug out, almost like a, a piece of, like, a part of a mine. No, I mean people-wise. He's like the only one. Is there like a no, bunch I, of I, them? I, there, there's, there, like I said, there, there's some weak ways, some biff. Um, some Twi'leks, some Aqua, like, there's a bunch of, like, rough people behind him of different races. Right, then. Yeah, uh, no, there, there's, a, there's a Rodian, um, that looks particularly kind of stoic, that's kind of standing off to the side and behind him, uh, pretty close. I'm gonna keep my cards close to the chest. Uh, and he, uh, he goes on to say, uh, but, uh, just in case the, the, the forest doesn't kill you, uh, your head will explode. You can test it if you like, but uh, there is no warning, so uh, feel free to convince one of your friends or enemies or random strangers to walk out and see just how far it takes before their head explodes, if you're curious. I really won't stop you. It's actually really hilarious watching people's heads pop. Anyway, uh, for the next uh, day or so until some friends of mine from the Empire arrive, you shall be my guest here in the mines. Uh, they will come. They like to Look through our acquisitions occasionally to see if um, you know any of you are wanted in the empire. And I keep doing my thing. They take credit for the capture. The, their their propaganda machine gets to be happy. I get to be happy. 
and then the rest of you who they don't take to live with me and your wonderful uh, let's see, uh, he looks towards the Rodian. Uh, what were we calling it again? Um, did you speak Rod- Rodies? Nope. Nope. Uh, he says something in Rodies, he's like, ah, oh, yes, uh, intentioned servitude to work program. You see, you work in mine, and if you survive and behave, eventually you can be press ganged into my wonderful crew here behind me. Uh, once you have been press ganged, uh, you will still technically be a slave, but I'll take off the bomb so you can leave with us. Otherwise, we'll zap you. Just wanted to make that clear. Uh, afterwards, if you continue to behave, we take color off, you're a part of crew, and whole cycle begins again. Wonderful business model. I look forward to those of you who have the stomach for it to uh, come and join me in this wonderful venture. In the meantime, I will leave you with my associates and uh, have, a, have a wonderful day. And uh, he kind of just walks off. Before... <laughs> Before anyone else, um, before he walks off, can I try to use a uh, sense force to see if I can sense another anyone else that has a a connection in the general area now? Since the, everything's bustle and bustle right now, um, yeah, go ahead and make a check. Yeah. So basically, you check to see if there are any force sensitive individuals around, sensitive or users or anything like that. Uh, do you remember if there's an opposed role to that, or just you just sense? I think it's will check. I'm, I'm trying to look at it right now. What are you using? Is that what I'm? It's a uh, sense force. force. Disturbances in the force. Oh, disturbance. I yeah, there was. I I thought there was a thing for sensing force sensitive as well. It's kind of why I was like, oh, okay, yeah. No, yeah, it is. As a full round action, you can use this ability to actively sense other force users out to a range of 100 kilometers. If you succeed on a DC 15, use the force check. You know how many force users are in range, their approximate distance and direction from you, and whether you've met them before or not. Another force user can try to conceal their presence by making an opposed use of force check. Okay. Um. All right, so that was your check of 29. Yes. Um, you're, you're getting something from somewhere in the direction of the pirates. Okay. So not the mines or the forest, but where the pirates are? Yeah. It, it it seems to be very brief, um, and almost as soon as you start trying to sense for it, it just blinks out. So I might have been detected. Interesting. Okay. Um, I'm gonna. I'm where gonna am I? Am I with the off. group? Uh, at this point, you have now been carted off into one of the deeper parts of the mine, um, and a couple of uh, weak ways are currently uh, taking inventory of some of the stolen stuff and have kind of just stuck you in a corner. Am I being watched? Not particularly well. Okay. So if I do something, would they see it? Um, you'd have to roll to try not to be seen. All right, uh, that's a stealth check then. Yep. Should be thirty-three. I yeah, am no, going to no way in hell they're going to notice whatever the hell you're about to do. I am going to make my uh, first uh, standard action check to remove the restraining bolt with a DC twenty okay. uh, for charisma roll. Okay, it just, it just kind of quietly pops right off. And I also you know I, I, I need another check though too. I gotta do a mechanics DC fifteen. Oh yeah. gosh, yeah, both sides just oh. made it. So okay. uh the restraining bolt is off. Yeah, it just kinda <laughs> quietly pops off and lands in the dirt at the bottom of the cave floor. And then he probably runs rolls over it just to hide it deeper in the dirt. Yeah. It, 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 that's exactly what I do, and I still just stay there for a moment. 
Okay. Uh, so that's all we're going to do before we cut back to everyone else? Yep. Bye. Okay. Uh, the rest of you are kind of just being... Uh, Gary, you wanted to say something? Uh, yep. By chance, did either of us, any of us in our group, see what uh, uh, Red's character was doing, or no? No, we just oh, saw he, him get he, 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 he got pulled deeper into the mines. Oh, okay, so he's separate. Uh, while, the cap, he's, while the captain was he's, talking. We're captives. He's loot right now to the pirate. <laughs> okay. But as far as they know, he has a restraining bolt on. It, ju- I'm just going to say right now, judging by the look of these pirates, most of them probably wouldn't know the difference of a droid with a restraining bolt and a droid without one. <laughs> Excellent. You've been captured by Luddites. <laughs> um. Can we have we already been searched or is, uh, are we, yeah, at, at, at this point? Um, anyone who wants to try and conceal any weapons on the other person, just go ahead and roll to try and conceal, uh, make a weapon conceal check. Uh, that would be that's a stealth check. Yeah, I'm gonna right. guess I can't hide up a, a blaster. Card. And since they're not a uh, full carbine, I would say no. But, like, if you have any pistols or knives or anything like that. Well, I was going to try and keep my stun lightsaber, but since I have a bomb on my neck, I guess I should try my first light. I'm going to assume I can't use a vibro bayonet without the carbon. Nope. That's no way in hell. Right. Yeah, no, I'm doing a flat 15 for, for this one just since it's... Right. So, I'm going to try and... What? That's not what I meant. Fuck me. Don't mind me. Sorry. I am not swinging the and, 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 and you can do separate checks for individual items. Yeah. Um, but if you want to just try and keep everything, you can try and do a 20 check to just do one check. Okay. Alright, I get to keep my stun, but my regular got taken. Alright. If this succeeds, I'm going to successfully hit everything. If I can only get the 15, I will be keeping my vibro dagger. Okay. Uh, there's no way in hell I could try to hide a utility or anything like that. Yes. Or the field. <clears throat> I mean, I hide everything? So every, everything you have concealable is, is perfectly concealed on your person, so at any, the only thing they would have taken would have been anything large. Okay, so I, I can just give out my stun club and my dagger. All right. And, and those of you who lost your stuff would have noticed it in the pile of things being carted off with, along with the, the droid that they took down deeper into the, into the mines. Try to hide one more thing, but everything else. Nope. Okay. 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 Um, I'll, be the, I'll be our weapon distributor. Alright, so uh, once the captain's left, the Rodian um, gives some orders and Rodies and then follows the captain. Um, the uh, the you and the other prisoners are kind of just led uh, further into the mines into uh, sort of holding makeshift holding cells and uh, left there with no guards to your own devices. So, a quick question: like how, the way we're structured up together, is it like like a couple of people in a cell or like a big pit, effectively, where everyone is? Um, you're you're basically in like two big cells. They seem to have basically grouped you into people who look like they'll actually be able to do some work, and everybody else. So, like, yeah, they're, they're, there's some, like, kids who are on board, um, sort of, like, older people and stuff are kind of, like, all off in one cell, and then, like, you and, like, the other, like, adults, and anyone who looks like they've... they, they could get some work out of them are put in another, and they're kind of across from each other in the tunnel. And the, the actual holding cell door is essentially a uh, a series of metal bars that re- um, slide into the wall of the uh, the mine itself that retract and extend as needed. Okay. All right, there we go. <clears throat> well, since I'm a bit suspicious and... Uh gone through some things, I'm going to need to do a use of force check. Search my own feelings to see if teaming up with these people is in my best interest. Can I go do that real quick? Yep.
Uh, what do I particularly feel about the people around me? Then, from um, my impression, other than uh, our other party members here, uh, you generally sense that most of these people um, seem to just be innocent folk. Uh, they don't seem to give off any particular, you know, strong sense of the force. They just seem to be average, normal people who are just scared and. Some of them are scared and frightened. Some of them are kind of apprehensive, like they're trying to think of a way out, but they, they can't find one. You know, you, you, the, the sort of things you'd normally sense. The only ones who kind of seem to be in control of themselves would be um, the other two um, people in our group here. Uh, Kiri, the, uh, the, uh, the Cathar female you see at the cell with you and the human male. I'm going to try and get my way to those two, and maybe... Um, that is, of course, unless Flux or Kiri want to just be freaking the fuck out right now. <laughs> Does Flux or Kiri want to be freaking the fuck out? I already removed the collar there by exploding my... So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Here's yeah. actually the gun. Good luck with me. Uh, Alright, I'm going to try... Yari has Yari's plans to make deals with the gun good to become part of the crew. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get over to the two that to Kiri's character and Flux's seem to be their uh they they're more in control. Try to see if I can get us in together as a group. Uh none of you wanna actually inspect the collars. You're you're welcome to try and what check them out with a check would that be? That would be mechanics. Uh, does anyone have that trained? Person who did got taken away. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I just know don't take it off. I'm gonna go over. Hold on. Am I really the only one who's trained in mechanic? Take a look yes. at the collar. Uh, yeah. If you want, if you want to do like just the perception, just look at it. He's untrained mechanics. Okay. Are you trained mechanics? No, untrained. Untrained. Okay. What do I think? Is it is it legit? <laughs> well, you can tell it's locked on. <laughs> and trying to pull at it too hard makes it zap you. <laughs> God damn, yeah. you rolled a one. Uh, can I uh, can I uh, use a perception check to see where that zap originated from as I make my way over those two? Um, yes. Ugh. All right, I'm not trained in that one. I took stealth instead. Eh, Eleven. Uh, it seems to come with the collar. <laughs> I can't. I can't actually see. Like, <laughs> couldn't catch it. No. Catch uh, as far as you can tell, just the collar in general just emitted a zap to him. Yeah. Is there any when we're look when I'm looking at it? Is there any obvious like this is where the mechanics and bombs is, or is it um, just kind of a that, flat? <clears throat> That in and of itself uh, would be another perception check from somebody. Okay. I'm going to assume you probably... As I make my way over, I'll make that. I'll, I'm trained so I can take a gander at that. Yep. Alright, so I'm going to try looking at, uh, at Gil's collar, like, to try and see, like, if it's, like, explosives, like, laid around or in a specific place. Okay, why? Well, no. Oh, oh, okay, I didn't <laughs> look at the collar. I didn't want everyone touching mine. Back. Back off, please. <laughs> We're not touching it. It's they're they're it's looking the at it. Touch the cats. It's fine. <laughs> My neck's a lot more precious. Thanks. Uh, with that check, you can tell the the collar seems thick enough that conceivably there could be a small charge placed ar- along inside of it. Um, there seems to be a a small, almost concealed locking mechanism, um, sort of at the front of the neck. And uh, on the inner part of the collar, there seems to be a kind of contact plate, which is where you assume the, the shocks come from. Okay. I see where the shocks are probably coming from, and a small lock in front of it. As well as things thick, so it might just be all have, uh, have I made my way over to where the other two are now? I, yeah, by now you did. It wasn't a terribly big room. You, you two seem to be the only ones that are not panicked. If we work together, I think I have a way out of this. Hmm? Better than trying to get out on my own. 
And with that, since I didn't, I didn't sense anything over when I the, the these guys are collected. There's nothing overt negative about them or dark. You said, "I'm gonna take a leap of faith because that's fucking the way I am," and I'm going to do a use of force check and say, "In both of your brains, here, then I can help get a sense because that's what I could do telepathy, right?" With the basic thing. I you mean, establish yeah. a, a, a telepathic leak with distant creatures and do simple <laughs> thoughts. <laughs> That's the vibe you want to give off on first meeting these people. <laughs> it's it's, it's the it most works. healthy yeah. way I can think of to say maybe there's more to me than just what I look like. I mean, you could just say, hi, I'm a Jedi. Fuck that! Uh, I mean, I'm, a, yeah, I'm a suspicious motherfucker. I ain't telling these people I'm a Jedi. Yeah, you are suspicious. You're talking to people with their brains. Isn't that taking? Yeah, no. You do. You do so. Both both Kiri and Flux hear hear the voice of this this approaching person in their head. It, that would drive anyone to fear. I work with this I, man now. I start looking around, wondering where the heck I might have heard that. Can I tell you who I am? Not yet. Don't know you well enough. But it, I get a sense that we are the best hope of getting not only ourselves, but as many people out of here as possible. Yeah. Are we in? Well, easier than me trying to figure something out on my own. Turn to Flux's character and you? The nice dog could have been sitting in that corner over there, but I guess I can use, do that some other time. All right. Now, are we, uh, do we, are either one of you really good at seeing if we're being what? Uh, would that be another? Per- okay. Yeah. Check what that be like perception or, or. I'm trained in perception if I would answer that question. I don't know what that means by trained in perception, Sorry. but if, yeah. if you're very good at looking around, then I suggest. You make sure we are not being watched or spied upon. Maybe we go to some place a little more secluded as we are being left to our own devices. Yeah, I can keep an eye out. So what were you guys able to smuggle in? I basically... Op- Imagine like the, uh, the merchant from RE4. In there you're seeing a vibro dagger. A blaster carbine with a vibro bayonet on it, and a stun club. Okay. I was able to keep one of my two items. That is important to me. And in my left boot, I uh, kind of just move my leg a bit, and you see something shiny and silver uh, poking out. What about you? Turns to flux of character. I don't have shit. <laughs> I've got fucking gumption. <laughs> what do you want, stranger? <laughs> I think he is offering you something. Very deep voiced Cathar woman. <laughs> Sorry, I could not resist the re- the merchant. Fair enough. Take the dagger, I guess. My whole club. Alrighty, so you got got my Vibro Dagger. Alright. Let's close that up. Alright, so at least we got stuff we can work with. Uh, Sovic, are we in the mine, or are we still, like, in the forest? You're in the mine. Well, do either one of you have any idea where the the controls on these things around our neck are? Based on what I saw, I'm going to guess that it'll probably either be like in like whatever their, their uh, central command area is, or probably held by that leader, or maybe a second in command. Because it looks like there's a little like no, no, I mean, I mean, collar. Mean what? I mean the collar. Either one of you have the ability to tell where the where we might be able to 
let's say if I could cut through it, where we could um, cause it to short out. You're interested in trying the scientific that, method. That would be that would be a mechanics check. <laughs> Unless you're interested in trying the scientific method, I could take my sun club and just try tasering at some random person's collar, see what happens. We've got a lot of people out here to chat. I would not be interested in doing that. That could cause a lot of unwanted destruction. I mean, well, if we can actually find it, also do that. Um. <laughs> um Hmm. So you said it, they're just fat collars. They're not like they have like a box on the side. No, like they, the the collar is thick enough that like whatever mechanisms they have is completely encased inside them. <coughs> the only external things you see on them is the actual lock on the front, which seems to be how they open and close around people's necks, and the contact plates that deliver the shocks that are along the inside of it. Oh. Could try it. It'll hurt like hell, but I could try it. What? Um, I gotta. I'm gonna DM question. Uh, I have an ability called Force Shield. Created a bubble of force around telekinetic energy amount around me. Do I think it I would, could? It would include the collar. It would include it. Wouldn't go. Yes, the, the, call, the collar would account, would count as equipment and clothing worn by you. Therefore, the force shield would go around the collar. Okay. Well, nothing else will keep the blast contained. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. It's a sure far way to make a baby die from the explosion doing this, and to a definitely die by the explosion doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Only I die. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, then I guess our only option is to find. One of the ones with the a controller, you yeah. say? Yeah, that's pretty much my guess. Yeah, the cap, the, the cap did outright say that the, the collars are manually activated for the shock function, except for trying to remove them. And he did imply that the explosion only happens if you try and leave the compound itself on the surface. You know, that means the thing. If we find a spare empty collar and we put it onto a pirate... If we try to, did he, uh, to remove the collar, see if it explodes. Did he taunt us with the controller? Like, yeah, he did, he did show you the controller when, when he was demonstrating uh, his, his little speech. He kind of showed off the controller and pointed to the button that activates the shock. Uh, as he was walking away, did he keep it held? Did he put it on his belt? Um, he seemed to slip it into like a, a pouch. Uh, like his belt. And the pirate camp is encompass the area we can travel, or is that outside of it? Um, the the air, the, basically what you saw as you were being brought into the mine <clears throat> was that there seemed to be like a, a small surface installation of a couple buildings that were walled that were surrounded by a wall, and then a mine shaft which you were all led into. Okay, but they. The, from the implication, if we got into the forest, it would be yeah, a bit before if, we if would you, explode. If, if you leave the compound at some... He, he didn't really just said if you leave the compound, but he, he, he mentioned, like, you know, if you want to see how far you can get away before it goes off, I'm not going to tell you to find that out yourself. Somewhere outside the compound is basically a point where the collar would go off. Well... It, it could be immediately past the walls, it could be like a hundred yards. It could be a, a couple kilometers. You don't know. But the the compound, the actual buildings, like the ones where he went, yeah, in like like the, the the mines itself and the compound would not would, would, are essentially safe. Okay, as so long as we're on his property, effectively, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's yes. that's what I'm getting at. Ba basically, well. what you can surmise is if you try and flee too deep into the forest, you'll die. If you try and find, if you somehow manage to find a way out of the compound on, like, a ship or something, eventually, if you got too high, you die. Like, the, the idea being is that the callers decide to keep you within the confines of his installation. Well, my other question is, is there anything that goes taken from you two that you think would be useful right now? 
in getting us out of here. I had a that'd be useful. You had a what? That'd be pretty useful. He keeps breaking up for me. What is yeah, that? Yeah, he keeps breaking up. That'd be pretty useful. Again, to get it. Sorry, what? I had a gun. That'd be pretty useful. Okay. Yep. Yeah, we had that time, finally. Yeah. Well, I have an idea. I can make myself unseen for a time. Could go try to find out where they're keeping our equipment and bring some back. Would you two be able to keep an eye on things, maybe get more information while I'm gone? Sure. What do you think? Uh, also, I don't know your names. I am Bly. Just call me uh, Jin for now. Jin, and you? Gil. Gil. Well, I'm keen to get out of here before the Empire shows up. So, yep. I think it might be a good idea to get started. And with that, I'll put my cloak over me and duck into some place where I'm not seen and trigger my cloak ability. Okay. Does, you are... like, does your ability work like that, that <coughs> invisible guy from Mystery Men where nobody can see you? No, it uh, essentially I redirect all light or uh, like radio waves and shit that go around me. There are still ways to see me, but as long as they're not, if unless someone turns on thermal goggles out for funsies, I'm probably invisible. Right. <clears throat> right. And these don't seem like the kind of people who just casually run around thermal goggles either, so. Nope. And I will yeah, start good. I will start to carefully, so I'm going to take a I'm going to take a 20 on my stealth check, so a 30. I'll start to carefully wake my Wait, take myself about to where I saw them taking the droids and equipment. Cool. You, you walk to the entrance of the little section you're in, you come to the metal bars, which are currently closed, and you can't leave. Oh. 20. On what? Stealth. Oh, can't you take 20 on stealth? No. I believe you can only take 10. Taking oh, okay. 20 implies that you're failing multiple times. Oh, right, right, right. No, then I'll take a, tw a 10. I'm just yeah. picturing he constantly running into the bars. <laughs> yeah, okay. He had this big laugh. He's like, okay, I'm going to sneak. And then he's like, oh, right, we're locked in. And then just trying to I didn't know we were room. locked in. I you never waited. I explained there are metal bars that, rec that recede into the wall that can slide in and out into place that are currently keeping you trapped in this, this section I never heard of the that. cave. And across, and across the mine shaft is another one where they're keeping all of like, the elderly and the children and shit and people who don't look like they could work. I didn't hear anything about bars. I just heard that we were being separated from the elderly and children. No, no, you've been separated in their bars on both both of your little, like, cave sections that have been, like, hauled out on either side of the shaft. Okay. Guard here overseeing us. Yeah, never mind. Uh, no, I, there, I there's there's absolutely cold, no guard. Right. They seem confident that between the collars and the, the fact that you're in a mine, there's not a lot of places you can go. Is there a uh, is there a guard walking near the gate? Then I don't use cloak if I'm not. I didn't know about the. Yeah, no. Uh, there does not appear to be any guard currently outside. I can maybe get someone to come, but I don't know how. Hmm. There'd have to be someone there for you to get over here. Yeah. Hmm. Out of curiosity, like the lock. Well, like the door. The lock to the door, like. Is it, like, mechanical or electrical? Uh, perception? Yep. While he's rolling that, um, let me know when I'm being left alone, uh, with the guard not in the room. Um, uh, so far they still seem to be there. It seems like there's just people stationed with the loot at all times. Damn. Can't really make my move until they're not paying attention. Um, so. I'm gonna guess I can't tell. Um, you can see that there is sort of a panel that is out of reach, but you don't know if that panel is related to the door. Um, other than that, you don't see anything out in the the shaft within visible range of just kind of sticking your head by the bars. 
or along the bars themselves that would indicate how they are activated. Um, Does anyone else want to try a perception check? Or um, does I was going to ask if there are any holes in like the ceiling ventilation <clears throat> ducts. Yeah, or no, anything? There, there does seem to be a ventilation system um, in the ceiling, um, which is about uh, a good like forty feet up. They, they, they've kind of like really hollowed this part out, like big and tall, to be able to hold a fairly decent amount of people. Unless you got some airs. That'd be a heck of a jump. Yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? I'm trying to look at acrobatics. There's also, an, there's also an active spinning fan blade in there that you can, that you can see that you'd probably have to get past. Yeah, that'd probably be a bad idea. Hmm. I'm also pointing out that you are underground and going into or fucking with the vent system. It's probably a bad, bad idea. Best idea. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I was thinking about that. Um, you have no idea what kind of noxious gases may be down here that that's keeping at bay. I'm going to uh, keep an eye out on the door till I see a guard maybe come by. I don't have a lot I can do right now. Yeah, I'm kind of waiting to see for Flux to get back to see if Flux had an idea there. I'm going to like also try and look at, kind of look to like, to like the other cell, the panel on the other cell. Like no, there's there are definitely things I can do, but they are very loud, and I am trying not to be very loud. Yeah, and I'm trying to not draw attention to myself either. Yeah, yeah I, I will say this right there. There are about three um, very angry-looking Aqualish like in the room you're in. Who you you probably don't want to try and take on all at once. Oh no no no! I head up to the to the gates. Okay. Hey. Out there. Uh, there does seem to be a bit of a pause, and then um, kind of a yell back in basic. What do you want? Need to shit. It's not really sanitary in here, and can't go. While people watch. So like shit, in corner, corner. <laughs> shit in the corner. Shit in the corner, dumbass. Hey, hold on. That voice. It's that bar. That bar. It's me, Gil. I'm just going to start bullshitting and try to get some. <laughs> you know what? Make a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> please, 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 please crit. Okay, Grant, there's no such thing as critting skill checks. My name's not Bar, you motherfucker. I'm coming in there and kicking oh. your ass. That's not bad. <laughs> uh, so after like a, a moment, like <laughs> you start making the outline of one of the guard, of one of the pirates just kind of walks up. And it's like, I, I feel like I know that name. Uh, have, know. You, have, you, have you ever been on Huda? Yeah, not like the most common Aqualish name. <laughs> <laughs> Does he actually come to the gate? Yeah, no, he's, he's walking up right now. Like, he's, he's down the shaft right now, like, asking questions. Like, hey, I think can I, I, I uh, have you ever been to Dalhutta? Can I yeah. force, yeah, while they're talking, can I kind of try to <coughs> just focus on him, seeing him, and... I guess I have to, because that's the way it's done. Wave my hand and just make the suggestion that he needs to open the door right away. Um, try, yeah, hang on. We, um, I guess it doesn't really <coughs> care which one of these guys I do. All the pirates have the same fucking stats, just different pictures. <laughs> Are we talking about this off game? Yeah. Come on, give me the character sheet. There we go. Uh, I will mention, all aliens look the same to Gil, so this may definitely be. <laughs> <laughs> this, this may very much be a, bo a Bob from Hydra moment. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, go ahead and try and do your your mind trick. Uh, this, this man probably cannot. <laughs> it goes against his will defense. So. Yeah. No, his man has a nine will. Uh, okay, he has suddenly overcome with a need to open the door. Yeah, uh, he opens the door while he's still talking to you guys. Like, oh man, I haven't seen you since. He's got no idea the door's <laughs> open, by the way. <laughs> yeah, no, oh, yeah. he's kind of like casually like opening the door as he walks up to talk to talk to kill. 
<laughs> Matt, you were talking about your girl. You said you were going to propose. How'd that go? Ah, oh, man, I, you know, I, I thought about it, and then I'm so, going to... A hut just killed her. Oh, and this is how shit goes, man. That I'm going to find a place to duck, uh, cloak, and then leave. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you want me to do the check, even though it's I, already, I can't fail it? Uh, no, just go ahead. This guy has no way in hell of actually, like, making... Making that, that perception. Okay. I got a plus two to all <laughs> stealth checks while I'm invisible. All right. And I'm going to go try and find the location. Okay. Uh, gonna, like, try while he does that, uh, are you two going to do anything with this, this guard you've now just coaxed into opening the door and just having a conversation with? I'm going to keep talking to him for a little bit and get to see if uh, either the other two want to knock him out or yeah, something. I'm going to gonna like uh, try and like you know, walk up behind him and then hit him with a stun club. So you're like knocking him okay. Um, make a stealth check to try and do that without him noticing you taking out the club. Ability to create a distraction. Tell them. Okay, yeah. So uh, he's he's too busy talking, and between the, the the sort of slight kind of confusion after the mind trick and the fact that he's just in. in Gross to this conversation. I think you see the a long lost friend. He has no idea that you're coming when you just clob him over the head and he just crumps to the ground. <laughs> yep. And I'm going to check him to see if he has like maybe the like one of the boxes on him or maybe by chance a key. Um, he does. He does have sort of a, a key card looking thing that seemed to be what he uh, waved in front of the console um, by the door to open this one. He kind of like waved the waved the key card and pushed a button. I'm guessing at the angle we were at, we didn't see what button. Um, no, you did not. None of you were actively looking. Okay, there was that too, probably. But no, like uh, no, no one actively was like watching how we opened the door. Okay, so I'm guessing he doesn't have a key to the collars, though. Uh, he does not seem to have the key to the collars. Okay, so is there a is there like a thing on the door in any way, form or fashion? On like, the door, there no. There's just, kind of the, there's just kind of the console in the... Um, well, it's not really a door. It's just literally like metal bars that just come out of the wall. And, and they, they, they just retract back into the wall through little like holes. And they're currently closed? They're, they're, well, they're currently opened up for where you guys were being held. On the other side, they're still closed. No, I mean, I mean where he came in. Oh, where he came in, there, there was nothing. Uh, it was just mine shaft. Um, it does eventually come down to like a mine cart of sort that seems to have a a control panel of sort that sort of has like the mine in sections that are uh, labeled. Right? Is there one that tells me? Is there one? What's it labeled in language? Probably. Um, it appears to just be labeled a basic. Um, what do they read? Uh, you see things like um, you know, shaft one, shaft two, things like that. Like the um, some of them seem to have um. Like a little note next to them that just says, you know, dead, uh, dead, dead. You assume it means that they kind of just got through everything that they could through those uh, shafts. And then one that just, says storage, one that says command, or something <coughs> like that. There is one that seems to go the deepest into a, a bit of a dead end that just says um, control. And when we were walked off, did it look like they were taking the objects to the pirate area? Well, they were definitely going deeper into the mine with the stuff. Okay. Like the, it, that, all the stuff went into the mine first. Then you went, and at least as far as you've been taken, you didn't pass anything that seemed to be any sort of a branching path, and you haven't seen them yet. So you assume it is deep in the mine. Do I have an idea how deep the mine is? That's my last um, question. To go to the, the, the command. Um, you think it would take you a few minutes to get there? Um, with the speed of the the thing, they, they kind of have like little like um one minute, two minute, things like that. They, they kind of say next to them, like, how many minutes it takes to get there. And that's by cart. And, that, and that's by cart, yeah. And you don't really have an idea how fast that cart actually goes to judge how fast it's walking. Mm. We got a key. Let's get out. Yep, yeah, let's do it. Help me carry this guy out of here. I don't want him yeah. in here scaring people. Yeah, let's let's put him out. Let's give him a nice little corner. Right, so, um, I, I'm going to try to relock the, the mine. Uh, yeah, uh, you, you do the the key card thing like he did, and then like two buttons pop up, and then 
it seems to just be like a visual display of the shaft you're in with sort of a, a glowing flashing thing for each of the two doors. And okay. uh, pushing the one for the door that you were in just closes it. And then, uh, let's see, is there like a place where, like a, a corner or somewhere we can... Uh, there, there's like a pile of rocks down like what looks to be like what started to be a side shaft that got abandoned like a, like a good like dozen or so feet in. Is talking a standard action? Would you say? Free action. Talk, okay. Talking is a free action. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back down to them because I, I realized I left them, but they still can't see me. And you're just going to hear a voice from nowhere again. I am uh, I found where we can leave and get command. Super creepy. Um, <laughs> Sorry, um, but I'm trying to stay invisible if this is needed. I, I, I looked back and saw that you two were coming out too. I thought you were going to gather information. But uh, whatever. Okay, we got information. We got out, yeah. and uh, apparently had like a girlfriend or something. I don't know. Yeah, he got killed Just by the hunter or something. Whatever. Oh, uh, that's. Do you have anything on him? One final. Uh, we just um, <clears throat> he just had I think a blaster pistol, and let me check what else he had on him. I'm taking that blaster. That's the wrong sheet. Oh. Yeah, he just had a blaster pistol and a. Uh, a vibro blade, like a, a knife. Okay. I'll take, I'll take both knife. of those and stagger back, uh, back and uh, slit this guy's throat and toss him behind the rocks. Okay. Um, I I can just knock him out instead. Yeah, he's already, he's already down, knocked out. He's going to wake up and then we're screwed. He doesn't wake up from a dead force. Seems like an, this seems like an unneeded death. Can I'm I find point, any rope or anything? I'm going to point to all the people he was willing to shock and explode and I, sell in slavery. I think, I think he kind of balanced the scales. I think. It's uh, cool. talking, I will point out um, that all the pirates, when you were sent to the force, all the pirates just did sense of varying levels of the dark side. Like these are not nice people. <laughs> you meet, miss all the slaves and stuff they wanted to make, but they're, they're literally selling people to the empire. I am, I'm going to, because of the way I read the rules, I'm going to walk away. Why this? They, you don't know if I'm there or not. Are you just going to do it? Yeah. Just slip the guy's throat. I'm going to whisper to myself, I'm going to pay for that. This is not murder hobooing. This is literally a prison guard. Yeah. This is actually legit. This is technically an enemy. Yeah, and the scales of because I read over it. This is a minor offense when it comes to like gaining a dark side point. I may have to like which say is a, three which hail mary GM, later that, on. That sort of a GM fee thing. Yeah, that and I think it kind of. And, and, and this, it. in this case, they, these people are already on the path of the dark side, so technically, it's a mercy kill. killing them is an act of light. Yeah. Okay, let's go find our equipment. All right. Uh, Alright, are you going to take the minecart deep down into the shaft? Uh, before we head up, I'm going to turn to the, uh, the cell we just left, put like my finger to my lips and go, shh. And continue on. What was that for? Okay. Uh, and then you, you're going to go to the control area on the uh, yes. on the control console? Alright. Alright, uh, you can Place yourselves in this general area. This is where the cart kind of stops. Tracks end. Uh, uh, north, south, east, or west? Down here. Uh, uh, down in the uh, the south area here where the, the, the little section where tracks are. And I also get to do something else because... Still have that robot chicken bit. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> Hey! There, there's a wall in the way, so that there, there will be have to be some going around to get there. But uh, you have now all officially made it to the same map at this point. <laughs> Sorry about that, Red. But Droid is all. I, I fully expected um, separation. To be all, yeah. Yeah, I don't think they would be stupid saying it's probably a guy dressed in a costume. Let's put him in with the rest. 
Right. I'm going to say I will scout ahead and stay where they are, and I will be back as quick as possible. Okay. If that's okay with you too. Because technically, until I drop it or take damage, I am out of sight. Um, quick question yep. before uh, Neo heads off. Like, uh, what exactly is this? Uh, that's just a uh, that's just a little dead end. Okay, so it doesn't. Like, that's probably where they store the cart. So it. Yeah, that's just it, a... it's. Yeah, like uh, you, you, you get the impression, like you, you, looking further down, that they haven't finished this section yet, so they're kind of just using it for. Right, so it doesn't bleed something. in here. No, what but, that yeah, what that's that, just, that's that's just an area where they could stick the cart out of the way of the main track. That's literally just a uh, wood panel that stops the cart. Yeah. Hey, do you want me to give a fresh stealth check? Um, Is it no, I make? Previous, your previous I, stealth check should be fine. Okay, if I make like a, if I make too much of a noise or something, they could come and see. All right, that's fine. Um, what was my previous stealth check? I don't have one until it's been a while. I mean, if you want to try and beat that twelve, you got. <laughs> oh, that that was to conceal an item, and I failed at. Oh yeah, no. Then uh, yeah, you're gonna need to you know, do new stuff. Thought you had that one, yeah. Because I just kind of saw Kiri's real quick and thought it was yours. Yeah. I haven't rolled stealth. All right, other modifiers plus two of the force roll. Doesn't it also give you an additional ten because of invisible? No, that I was wrong. That it's it's a plus two. Wait, it's my yeah. What's my stealth to become? You're invisible to anyone looking at you. There's no. I did get no number for that. I am considered having total concealment. I believe that gives me something to stealth. Take minus 10 on their check to notice yeah. you. Yeah, minus 10 to notice me. Okay, so it's effectively a debuff instead of a buff. Got it. Yeah. I'm going to head down quietly and look around the corner. A second here. Uh, what are, what does it feel like the walls made out of? I'm I'm gonna feel them while I go down. Uh, they're, they're 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 a mix of like stone and dirt. Does it feel like they're sturdy, or they feel like they're very roughly bit dug? Uh, they 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 are sturdy enough to hold up the mine, but like they they are not been made by skilled labor. So I'm gonna make a mental note: nothing big for me. Uh, guys. It effectively takes away my ability force blast ability. Hey, you can do it, but we're all gonna die. No, you skin bags might die. I have a chance of not. Of being sold. Okay. No, of being buried for a hundred. So um you, you go up to there and yeah. I'm just gonna do area here. Uh, you do hear some voices that seem like they they heard something, but they don't don't know what it is. Um, and they are speaking in Biff. <laughs> oh, what exactly are they saying? They're like, did you, did you just hear something? I don't know. Did you hear something? I thought I heard something. I don't know. I'll get some of the check on it. You get some of the check on it. Right. Yeah. Uh, to that, I'm going to. God, I could either head to the corner or I could head back down. I'm going to head back down. I'm going to warn them we need to duck. Get out of the way. You guys uh, don't see me, but you hear me say, they, they, they hear us. They know something's here. We need to hide. Okay. Um, I've got that covered. Yeah, but you, do. you two might need to do something. In this area here, does it look like we could potentially hide there, or would it just take too much time? The rock pile. Sovic? He, he's moving. Um, you, you, you can hide if you, if you made a, a check to do it. Okay. Hide in I'm gonna, the Stealth check. I'm going to hide up here at now? this corner. Okay, yeah, you both think you're hiding in the rocks, and your tag's up there. Um, as you get up in the quarter and conceal yourself, uh, you see two of the guards kind of come around this corner here, 
Uh, Red, two of the guards have left. It's been about a hot minute since they left. They don't seem to be coming back, and there's only now one guy with you. <laughs> All right, I'm about to do something uh, really stupid, probably, but um, I am going to, seeing as I don't, uh, let's see, um, I'm going to quietly open up my uh, one compartment that has the blaster pistol and hand to use it, mechanical hand. And I'm going to shoot him. Damn it, Flux, he has thumbs! <laughs> <laughs> weird. R2 opens up a little door and out comes a real human hand. Over the <laughs> <laughs> it's like, so, it's well, like a small baby hand. <laughs> <laughs> and I am going to shoot him with a sneak attack. Okay. Fifteen damage, ten, and then uh, plus two d six if that hits. And Do we hear this shot? Uh, and that's against his reflex. Um, I mean, it's a blaster pistol. I'm assuming it's against his reflex then. Oh, uh, whoops! That's not the right damage. <laughs> I mean, it says it already rolled the damage. I I hit two, two stun is damage plus one. I I hit I hit the stun one and not the regular one. I mean, it could just be. I mean, is, does it change the modifier at all? Uh, no, it just changes the damage. Oh well, then yeah, you just go with the first roll. You roll the tap. Oh no, damage. it um, it changes the damage to three d six instead of two d six. Ah, uh, okay. So that's another six. Okay. Um, uh, you you put a hole through this man. <laughs> and he, he slumps forward dead uh, and the, the sort of pachong of your blaster shot kind of echoes through the, the cavern uh, as soon as I hear it do they, it looks like they're running towards where the, this way or running back or uh, they, they seem to be hesitating for a moment uh, you imagine you have literally seconds before they make some kind of a decision on what to do about the noise can I, I... I, 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 I'm going for to... them and slice one with the stun saber. As soon as I'm done firing, though, yep. I uh, close the compartment that ha that uh, housed the hand, the mechanical hand and gun. Okay. Um, and Neo, yes, uh, you can try and do so. Uh, this would count as a uh, surprise round. Do it. <laughs> going to try while he's hesitating. I am going to try and slice him. Uh, I'm I'm not going to use battle strike yet. I don't know what it does. Wait, I mean, how I are you going to slice him? You only have your stun baton. It it goes through. No, it's a stun lightsaber. So it's essentially a lightsaber, but it does just does stun damage. It's a training yeah. saber. So they give beating him over the head with a zap stick. Yeah. yeah. He's teaching <laughs> that little youngling what for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't slice him. Uh, do I get any uh, bonus modifiers to this attack? Not only can they not see me until the second it's swinging, but they're also surprised and all that. I mean, you don't necessarily have sneak attack, so they're just going to be flat footed. Okay. That's uh, 14 damage, 17. Um, I was off of cost, cost off guard, so if that doesn't hit, I'm fine with it. Man is down and stunned. <laughs> and uh, I believe that breaks your stealth? Yes, it does. I did an action that is hard, uh, that is an act, that's a standard action. All right, well, you come out of your cloak. Uh, these two gentlemen down here, one of them sees you and gets the other guy's attention. This guy sees you <laughs> and <laughs> pulls out a fucking vibro axe. <laughs> Fair enough. And uh, we in initiative now. Yay. Okay. Uh, the problem is, all I heard is a shot, so I didn't know if it was from behind and my two allies were getting attacked from behind or if it was in front of me, so I had to make an action. 
That's how my character's gonna justify it. Try not to metagame knowing knowledge ahead, because I don't know what Fluck Red's character's doing. Yeah, like you mentioned, it was kind of like a, like an echo. Oh right, fucking forget. Oh no, you can't do that with this. One. Yeah, you have to click on your token. Yeah, no, I've I've gotten used to playing uh, in another system where you click on your token and then roll it. So just add the character, and I'll put it up there. Wait, how do you do that? Click on your character. Click on your character, and then if you roll initiative, it'll automatically go in. Bam. Okay. I didn't have my character clicked. It should it anyway. Did right? not. Uh, did it, you did you click it with the uh, arrow key or the point arrow the direction key? With the mouse. Okay, so you see like the all the but the uh, three but buttons above you. Yeah. Okay. Well, don't know what to say then. I'm gonna. I only you know, just got initiative. Right. Might and... be not one that might not be one that. No, does that's, it. that's how I did the pirates just now. You just, you click on the token and then you go on your sheet. You hit the roll initiative button. Oh, I just hit the. Yeah, yeah the make sure. Skill. Yeah, no, you click, click on the on the token. Yeah, and I then did in that. Your sheet, you hit the little dice next to oh. the initiative at the top. I didn't roll that. I rolled the skill. Oh, oh yeah. if you roll the skill, it doesn't do it for some reason. Yeah. Oh, that's what I was doing it wrong too. Okay, okay. I will re-roll my initiative then. That's the same one I got at the beginning, so I don't need to re-roll it. Everybody sorts. <laughs> it's. Definitely lower, but fine. Alright, our fine droid friend gets to go first. <coughs> Why do I have a 1.6 <laughs> <my initiative? laughs> uh, Because it, automa it automatically rolls them as a decimal. Uh, oh. So that it can sort uh, on ties who actually have the higher roll. Oh, yeah. Cool. I actually like that a lot. Yeah. Um, I'm actually going to not do anything for my turn. So just skipping okay. yourself this round? Yeah, I am... You know what? No, no, no. I take it back. You would have heard me essentially probably... Uh, yeah, the, the, the guy would have made like an ah sound as he went down. Yeah, I'm actually going to move over to the <coughs> corner here. And I'm going to roll a stealth check. And that's my turn. Okay. All right. So this guy. Got to come out here with blaster pistol in hand. And he's going to try and shoot Neo in the back. <laughs> even, if, even if I wasn't in melee and getting a plus ten, and there was a negative ten to hit me, you would not have actually no. That means you rolled a negative six. Yeah, to hit me. If you're somehow rolling negative, would that mean yeah, no, he, he, you shot yourself? He shoots. He shoots wide. <laughs> no, only on a net one do you shoot yourself. All right, Gary. All right, that's my ability. I'm going to move. One, two, three. There is run rule. That's a double. That uses double. I know that. That's how we're running. And finishing off with my run. Uh, like, quick question. Like, this here. This is just different coloring of terrain. It's not like a... Like a yeah, this is different color. All right. Six, seven, eight... And I, that, that's you know, just the terrain sloping down, basically. And that will be my turn. Uh, do, can I still do a stealth check, or does that remove my ability to do any skill checks? Can we run in a straight line, by the way? You know what? Hang on. Uh, if you double move, you can make a turn, but if you're running, I think it's a straight line. Yeah, four times your speed, straight line. Yeah, if, yeah, if you yeah, double okay, move, you won't be able to make a check. Right, so then let me just move my character back to where I was and try that again, okay? Alright, so I was right here, so... One, two, three. Now I'm going to double move, so that will be... 16 minus three. 
13. And that would be it then. Yep. All right, sorry about that. No worries. Yep. It's a bad situation. It's got to deal with it. No, I just meant to be forgetting how run work. All right, boy. Um, I don't want to get out of melee, but I don't have a choice. So I'm going to... Do we have five-foot shift in this system? You know what? I don't... No, let me go back over to... I, that's one of the few things I didn't look. Do we have five-foot shift? God, that is a good question, actually. Yeah. I forgot. This is based on 3.5. It's 3. based 5. on 3.5, but it's also incorporating some of uh, roll 20. Yeah, D20s stuff. Yeah, there's a withdrawal action instead. Yeah, yeah, it looks like this is a withdrawal system from what I'm seeing in the other. All right, well, then I won't move because then I'm, I'm already in his threat area. I'll just swing at the other one in front of me. If you could move, you'd still be in his threat area. Yeah. Oh, uh, is, uh, I don't take a op attack for just, just moving, moving in and out of the threat area. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So moving down one square isn't going to make him do an op. Going to move to there then, because I'm trying to prevent getting shot in the back twice, and I'm going to swing. What exactly would prevent you from moving one square to the left as well? Actually, that's a good question. Oh, is there... nice. I don't know. <laughs> Fine. He is no. still in your you're still in his threatened square, so technically speaking, he's not leaving. Alright, and I'm gonna move to behind him, hoping that my allies he's aren't in, Yeah. Hoping my allies aren't he's, in too look much. Look at this legwork, like, catch his hands. <laughs> yeah. Hoping my allies aren't in too much danger down there and are able to uh come up from behind, I'm going to uh do that and then swing. Uh by the way, while I look at him, what weapons do, does he have? Does he have a blaster out? Does he have something uh, he pulled out an axe, a vibro axe, when, uh, when he saw you take out the other guy. Okay. But he does have a pistol on his on his hip, as did the other guy. Probably not. Um, I'm thinking. Yep. No, he's uh, he's down and stunned. Okay, I'm going to position myself knowing that I there's a guy in that room. I'm going to have my my stun saber out, ready to deflect something if I have to. Alright, that's my turn. Alright, Gil. Point out stun damage, you just take half. That is a thing. But he doesn't take the full 18. Does it? Um, the eight actually. I'm making a stun attack. Subtract half of the stun damage from the target hit points. If they if they drop to zero, they move make negative five on the condition track. It equals their damage threshold. They move negative two. First guy's actually still up then. Okay. So, second guy hit zero. Right, well, then I wouldn't have been able to move around because then I would have got. I think on both of them, you hit, their, you hit their threshold on both of them, too. They drop to negative two. Negative two to all defenses, negative two to all attack and checks. Two, half of 50. That threshold is when they essentially get not, uh, go you, into you, shock. You, you take so much damage that it, it reduces their condition. Yeah, both of them had their thresholds hit. Um, the first so then they would go hit. down four because it's stun damage and. Or uh, only zero? one would go down four because only one hit zero. With the half damage. If they hit zero, they immediately go to negative five. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So, so the the second guy already went down, but the All first right. guy, if you hit their threshold, they just drop two. That's it. Oh, okay. That's fair. That is very fair. They get to start making their checks to get back up. So what does being two down the condition track mean besides defense? 
negative two to all checks and defenses. Okay. All right. Then my back is probably still exposed. I'm uh, trying to keep a watchful eye on my shoulder, over my shoulder, but that's the best I can. Con. All right. Flux, you, your turn. What are you gonna do, Flux? Figure out There we go. My turn done. The other bit is going to come out. Yeah. And like the dumbass he is, he's just going to keep trying to shoot. Actually, I think he has line of sight. He, he notices the Cathar suddenly. <laughs> and I was like, oh shit. Tries to shoot. Tries to shoot Kiri. <clears throat> Sixteen. Does that hit? <laughs> reflex. That'll be hitting reflex. Uh, hitting reflex. Yep. Then that's a miss. Uh, okay. And this guy, who's not having the best day that you first hit, uh, he's gonna try and hit you. His axe. Is that minus two? So that's definitely a mess. Yeah, no, that's a mess. Remember, it's only negative ten for uh, range attacks, but you know, negative two. No, I mean, if he's not even he's not even rolling a ten, and he's taking an additional minus from being you know down the condition track. Yeah. It's like he woke up from one hell of a hangover. Kind of did, thematically. And I'm just going to roll my desk. Yeah, no, that other guy isn't getting up yet. Uh, red. All right, um, let's see. Sounds <clears> of <throat> combat are filling your ears. That's, that's yeah. yeah. Let's see, I have to go here. That's one square. It's five. Okay, yeah, I am going to move over here. What do I see? Uh, you see the rest of this way. You see five more bits. <laughs> Yay, okay. Um, I'm going to move more. If wait, if I move again, I can't hide again, can I? Correct. Hmm. Well, Darn. All right. I'm gonna go over there. <laughs> All right, this guy. Curious what the other guy was shooting at. Is going to come up here. See the. Camera. What about the fuck of us? We're getting shocked over here. <laughs> <laughs> and he's also going to try and shoot Geary. That's a miss. Which brings us to Geary. All right, I think I'm going to attack the. Uh, I'm going to attack uh, this one, the guy in the bottom. I'll take a okay. blaster carbine and eighteen. That's definitely a hit. That is a hit, a threshold hit, and a drop to zero. I just like his that. Is, uh, that is a hit. I rolled one max and two fail botch rolls. Amazing for damage. Oh well. That's one dead biff. <laughs> and uh, uh, Alright, Blah, you gotta keep giving this guy a bad day. I still technically can move, so I'm just gonna move up to, up one space. To get 
better view of the other guy. Um, I was trying to look up stun damage. Uh, so that the one that's stunned is down. Is he able to get? You keep mentioning trying to get back up. Uh, after like, make a con check to get back up. Yeah. Uh, is there a way to keep him stunned? Yeah, we keep him. smacking him with the lightsaber. I'm willing to stand here. No. Huh. Wow. Yeah, no, eventually you will have to just kill him. Or you will get back up. Yeah, right, after, well. after he makes a DC 10 check. On success, he moves up the condition track where he gains conscious and covers hit points. If okay. he fails, he stay he stays unconscious for another hour, makes another check. Oh, he did for an hour. Another, okay. Yeah. I know. For the first is a minute. If he fails the minute, he then waits an hour. And then it's an hour on hour. Until yeah. I think he hits eight. I was I was basically checking to see all right is he gonna wake up after this fight? No, he's definitely staying down. All right. Then I'm going to hit the one in front of me and try and make sure he stays down as as this you time. Hit him, I think you're gonna do enough to Yeah, I've been rolling. That's the rule for essentially if anyone drops. So even that other that bit that dropped, technically. Oh wow. Well, yeah, no. Okay. Yeah. Well because you yep, that's damage. him drop to zero. Because you do stunning damage, he can't accidentally die. The myth can't die. If he rolls a one and his get back up check, you just left. Fair enough. All right, go. Um, do I still have movement? I mean, yeah, I still have movement if you want. I'm gonna. Do I? I'm gonna go right up behind him, and I'm gonna you say hi. Didn't you just? Weren't you there? No. Uh. I wouldn't have been able to get there. Yeah, he would have been able to make the, the, the move he made. So he, he kept the attack, but didn't do the movement. Otherwise, he would have provoked uh, an attack from the guy up that he just took down. Gotcha. Gonna try to... He technically still had 2 HP left after the half damage, because I forgot to calculate the half. All right. He rushes over to help his other bit, dodge bullets. <laughs> I was up behind him. Bueno. Wait up. <laughs> Sad to see you like this. They're going to start shooting at you. Let's, let's make give them a penalty. Sorry to see you like this. All right, go. <laughs> that is actually the thing, Ninteg. You are making it so it's harder for them to shoot him. Is Am I? Yes. yes. He's in oh. melee. <laughs> And I'll stay there. Sorry, I didn't know that I make. No, it that, that applies to everybody. <laughs> Turns over, bud. Well, I thought that was the ability that I get that negative ten no. to hit me and me. No, like... it's a negative five to shoot oh. into melee. Okay, it's like a five to shoot the melee, and I think you have something that makes it hot harder because you're a Jedi. I'm gonna yes. sit, I'm gonna pin my back against the wall and take a shot at the other myth. All right. One, two. So that's a twenty-one and a sixteen. Yeah, no, that Biff, that Biff dropped. <laughs> he was on his way down after the first shot, and you just take took another one on his way there. I'm gonna my turn over. That's your turn, and that's everyone technically down. So what happens if I touch this one that has a chance to get back up with the stun saber? He just stay down. It does nothing. I mean, I'd, I'd assume you just automatically knock him another few steps down the condition tracker, but he's already at five because you knocked him to zero. Yeah, negative five. That's it. There is no um, more unless you just coup de grace him. Then I will go over there and watch over these two, knowing that they might get back up, might not. And then that's my that's it for me. Okay. The other, the other ones are bleeding out, but they're probably not getting up in a condition to fight anytime soon. I stroll up and uh, whistle in binary. What took you guys so long? Yeah, we're ending this shift. Yeah. Pop, 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 pop. Watch your motherfuckers drop. That wasn't necessary, but right, well, man. fine. What was your plan <laughs> to handle this? You want to talk to them? Keep hitting them with your stick? 
Well, I was kind of hoping to maybe find more information about things, but they are dead now. Um, I noticed that I, I say in binary. Well, we you were we had speak. they kept us in a cage. It took a while to you find can't a guard speak that you binary. Can't speak binary. Oh, you can't <laughs> understand it's binary. Literally, it's literally <laughs> oh, sorry. Alright, did I say in common? Did I say you can't in common. Just open your mouth and just start like issuing fucking static sounds. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want that now. I want that so much. I want to just open my mouth and just start going zero one one zero zero one 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 zero zero. It's just a fucking dial-up tone. <laughs> very racist toward the droids when he beeped it. <laughs> well, right. well, well, potential companion, they were keeping us in a cage. It took a while to find a guard. Is the there anyone else to... down there? Not anymore. Did you do anything to you, buddy? Nothing I couldn't handle. Furniture. Yeah, I'm gonna go down here. I, I'm gonna come. To, I, 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 do I notice their collars at this point, Sovac? Um, yes, you do see the collars. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go over to my buddy here and. Uh, Other one. Your buddy. That is not the right one. Two droid. <laughs> Tiny little pictures. Uh, I, I'm going to use my mechanics to uh, take it off. Or attempt to. Okay, uh, you attempt to remove the collar. Well, I attempt to find out if I can remove the collar. Okay, uh, you find that if you try to take the collar off through tampering, you're probably going to trigger uh, the shock function first, and then likely the detonation function if you do manage to force it off. All right, I I, inf I inform my buddy of, of this that I can't remove it. Not without killing them. Lovely. Uh, these lovely consoles uh, appear to be telling you uh, uh, where a bunch of blips are. Uh, judging by the way they're kind of grouped together, um, and based on the kind of the map you have when you were on the cart, it seems like it's showing you the position of all the callers that are currently active. Um, is there a uh, droid interface? Uh, there does uh, seem to be an interface. Um, Kind of pour it um, on I, it. I Not plug necessarily in. made for a droid, but you you think that it, as long as you have sort of like a computer multi tool. I do. I I you should, be, you, the you, computer you, you should be able to bridge the communication gap there. My friend, I, you I plug in. Do you think you could maybe okay. remove uh, these blips? Uh, It'll be a computer blip. check to see what you can do. I'll get rid of this droid. Go away. No. <laughs> Thirty-four uh, is helping you, us out. You, you could deactivate and unlock all of the collars at once if you wanted. Oh Jesus Christ! I, I do that. I just unlock uh, all everything. of your collars. Just kind of pop off harmlessly and fall to the ground. Are you sure you want to get rid of the droid now? Uh, you would also know, Red, since you did it, that all of the collars and all the other prisoners would have also been. Uh, released. You also think that from this uh, panel, you can actually remotely control the doors to their cells. I also open it. Uh, uh, open up all the. That uh, might doors. not be the. Why you don't want a random droid? That's <laughs> tech. All right, you have you have freed all the prisoners and removed their collars. Well, I I, I, get I very I, loud, very I, quickly. I, tell, I uh, tell everyone in in binary. Now's their chance to get out of here while there's pandemonium about to strike. And now it's just screeching at us. What do you want, Droid? <laughs> Look, it, what are you saying is it's going to get very loud very quickly if we want to save ourselves and others, <laughs> hopefully. We need to get our gear and get out of here as quick as possible. And with uh, that, I go down to where the droid came from. La lastly, Red, you get one more piece of information out of that console with that check. Uh, with Ooh. the check that high, you also now know Basically, where and what all the other consoles of the facility are. Awesome. Start losing the guards. I'm going to pick up my collar and just hold on to it. Okay. Okay. Never know uh, the Biff had uh, pistols. And, I, I, uh, I, inform, I inform Marani that uh, that's probably not a good idea. The bombs are still active. Yes, the bombs are, in fact, still active. True. But we might be able to get it onto the guy who put us here in the first place. 
Uh, the bit, the bit each had a pistol and one grenade. I I perform my best impression of a shrug. <laughs> fried grenade. Uh, fried grenade. And the aqualish. Uh, the aqualish each had a blaster pistol and a vibro axe. All right, fine. I'll get rid of it. Um, down here, do I find our our stuff? I'm just gonna scatter. Yeah, down there is where all the stuff is. Gonna scatter then the frag grenades. Okay. I'm um, going to say loudly. This is where all our stuff is. I'm getting mine. I suggest you get yours. Uh, to to give Red also something here. Uh, that you know that the other console in the room appears to be a communications terminal. Hmm. Ooh. All right. I'm going to head over to it and interface with that too. Other one. You 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 you've been you've been you're doing the backwards. <laughs> this this was the slave control one. Oh, okay. Communications. All right, well, I'm going to plug into that one, too. All right, and computer check. Uh, you have access to their recent communications logs if you want them. Um, yeah, I'm going to download the, them. The contact frequencies uh, associated with those conversations. And you could probably access any sort of um, comm link system that uh, they have. You think you can, like, uh, jack into their communication, their current communications so we can know where they are? Where they plan to send people? Uh, do any of you have a comp link? I do now. Uh, okay. Did uh, I you, you include would, that in my inventory? You'd so be able check. to uh, get your comp link on their network with yeah, the help I have, of the droid. I have an internal comm link, so yeah. Yeah, wow, you, you I, can also do it to your internal network if you want. You could patch yourself into the comm link network. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do that. Uh, Question, how many of uh, the guards have and I'm going to download all the data. Uh, the, on the, the logs. The, the um, Aqualish seemed to have short range ones. It seemed to kind of just be um, like <coughs> the Bith. They seemed to just be for working in the same area. Um, you imagine any kind of interbase ones, um, only like higher ranking members of the crew would have those. And otherwise, they've been using this console to connect with them. While, while everyone's doing this stuff, I'm going to take a minute to focus um, myself and get any force powers I've used back. I don't have any a, a longer, longer range comm link. Uh, I do, but that came with my kit. You have one? Yeah, I've got one. Uh, uh, if you Roy, ask for it, I will give it to you. Roy, can comm links be accessed from this computer? Yes. He said, saying, they, uh, they need a comm link to hook into the computer. Like, could you talk to the computer and it would broadcast on the comm links? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, so, I know how this works in our universe. If we took one of the long-range comm links, put it right up to the speaker of the computer, and then just sent a massive feedback loop, would that just kind of <laughs> fuck up their comm links for quite a while? Um, oh. Red could do a mechanics check to see if that's how that works. So here's my plan. <laughs> Just put the two comics together and blast that, their ears. That is very out. much how that works. <laughs> 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 I'm going to hand over my comm link. Well, anything to help out? I I'm going to disconnect my internal comm from the network prior to doing it so I don't blow my... Yeah. Uh, ear, uh, my I electronic have, ears out. Range comm link. Oh, I'm turning do, right. comm link. do they have different networks, or is it just what well, just one? And they uh, they, they seem to have a series of short range networks that just kind of link individual pairs or small groups of comm links, as well as just one overarching one that seems to connect to anywhere in the base. Okay, <laughs> just disable the long range one. No, I'm turning. I'm turning my comm link off. All right, there you go, droid. I. uh make everyone's life miserable. <laughs> okay. You do that. Um, you uh, can pretty much assume that everyone has now either thrown away, destroyed, or just otherwise gotten rid of their comm links at this point, and we're wondering what the hell is going on. Uh, uh, the you one know that from the recent is. communications as well, that they are in fact expecting those Imperials they talked about basically any minute now. 
uh, I relay that information that we need to get out of here before the impact. Okay. And before uh, the in my they said we were ETA that said that they are expecting a shuttle with three passengers to come and pick up um, any prisoners that they deem of interest to the Empire. Speaking binary, Red? Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. I've been speaking uh, binary the whole time. Uh, I have no fucking clue what you said. <laughs> uh, he's okay. saying we need to get out of here right now. They're on their way. Okay, let's go. Um, I As we start to move, I'm going to uh, see... Uh, ask the droid if I can have my comm link back, or is it droid? Uh, your your comm link's basically fried Trash. in the loop with everyone else's. Fair enough. Then I, <laughs> I'm going to leave I, it. And let's I go. turned mine off. No, yeah, no, I sacrificed mine for this. So yeah, let's yeah. go. Uh, okay, I guess we're going to move as fast as we can. I while well, we were they were doing that though. For the record, I took the minute to focus. Yep. All right. And uh, you know now from both your, your map of the, the place and Red's thing that uh, the best way out is through one of the... Turns out there's several actual surface areas, not just the one you came in on. And uh, you find yourself here. You can put yourself anywhere in the mineshaft area. As we went by the prison area, I just shouted out. Uh, just shouted out. Periods are coming. Some guns in the hallway. Good luck. Yeah, if you want to stop and like gra- grab up the the prison, I I would. Oh, I just I just shouted out. I would have were... I would have rushed down there and said we've got to go now, and I would have probably carried some weapons uh, with. Mm-hmm. I I would I would point out that it, doing that, most of the prisoners would have already bolted. It's just the ones who are like worried about like what's going on who would have been left. So there's only a handful <laughs> there when you get there. Fine, I gather a handful. Anyone that looks able bodied, I give a leftover blast or a or a vibro braid. Let's go. All right, let's My character down. Front line. I'm not used to being front line. <laughs> and I am definitely not front line. <laughs> Me and Carrie are the front liners. It's going to be interesting. We did not hear what you said. Flux, what did you say? Gil's just um, grumbling, signing up for a massive slave rebellion. Yeah. <laughs> if they just cut me a check, I would do just, that. Just need, four, just need to get three people out, and we have a droid, like 15 followers. We're going to get a ship for them all. As we travel uh, quickly out of the mineshaft, I'm going to ask any of the prisoners left if any of them are a pilot. Do are, by chance are any of them? None of the none of the prisoners you have who I'm not going to bother dropping down because they're going to be useless to you in a fight. Yeah, um, none of them are piloting. But as Kiri just piped in, he uh, they are a pilot. Okay, and, and I ch- I piped in that I am too. So no, I mean yeah. I mean we're probably going to be splitting up. I was wondering if we gave them a ship, oh. if we made sure they got a ship, if they could take off and travel on their own. Um, they think they're uh, the pilot of the ship that you all came on um, is here. Is that a uh, no. I don't trust the droid flying us. So uh, they, they, they're, <laughs> they're going to actually go back in and try and find where they all went. <laughs> oh, okay. So uh, they, they go back in the mine and try and find their own way because they, they don't want whatever the hell you're about to bring. <laughs> okay. They just see uh, us armed cool. to the teeth, and they're like, yeah, no, cool, guys, we're gonna go that way. <laughs> yeah, this looks like uh, you're, go- you're heading into a-, a boxed area. We don't really want to be part of this in case you die, so bye. In case you lose, we can say we weren't part of this. Bye. Um, Alright, what do we see when we get to the edge? Hang on, I'm trying to see. Cool, Kerry can actually see down there. All right. Now, I do actually have an auto map feature, but I can't see through solid walls. So you have like a oh, echo. You, you have like an echo thing where it uh, you send out a signal and then it maps for you or something. Uh, yeah. Except it also does um, all sorts of extra stuff. Like temperature, stuff like that. Uh, do we see that guy? Does does it yeah, look you like you see that guy? I'm also thinking right now that down here. Oh, hang on, go back to select. 
the way I can ping. Down here, that, that there is technically a door there, um, which is currently closed. Um, Red knows that that's that that's one of the hangers that they okay. use. Uh, this other building next to you, you know, to be sort of a, a barracks for the pirates. Uh, but yeah, that's I think everything here you can see from the yeah. measure. Yeah, I, I yeah. can detect in a twelve square radius. Um, Terrain, atmospheric conditions, electromagnetic signatures, and life forms. Oh, however, the scan cannot penetrate solid walls and closed doors. Um, you do know that there's more sort of of this sort of foresty terrain, and there are other dudes that you can't currently see using your little scan that are outside here with these other guys. All right, I let them know that there's more hostiles. All right, uh, I ask him. Uh, do you have a general idea of where they are? I, I'm also pointing out that they can see you guys. Okay. <laughs> I'm pointing them out. Right there. So, uh... All right. At this point, are we doing an uh, initiative? Yeah, at this point, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and roll initiative. Damn, I wanted to stealth up to there, invisible, and just force blast that whole area, but okay. You'll get That's fun. You'll get to force splash something else. No, I'm gonna force blast these guys if I have the opportunity. We, we're in a hurry, oh, and I can't be subtle. I Time forgot the subtlety is over. There. Try that again. How do I do this? Oh! Click on your <laughs> token. And yeah, no, I'm clicking on my token. And then yeah. initiative the top one. Yeah, I, I... I... Hit... I forgot to click on the token first. Oh, I see what's going on. No, initiative is not as deck score. I'm trained in it. That's yeah, that would, initiative's weird. That should have been a 28 initiative score last time. Wait, what? What did I, Oh, I rolled a four. You rolled a four. Again, <laughs> even with... Yeah. I know, that's not a 10. That should be a 20. That should, you, know, you know, maybe that's what it is. I rolled a three. My total initiative is eleven, so that it matches up. Yeah, it maxes mine too. Okay, fourteen. So far, this has been fun. I like it. Anybody else? Yeah, so I'm, so I'm enjoying. <laughs> I'm enjoying exactly the fact that it's it's been interesting skill. We we had no real solution for a little bit. Like Red was stuck in all a right. storeroom, we were stuck in a cave. <laughs> all these all these guys collectively rolled worse than all of you, so you guys get to go first. Oh, jeez. <laughs> we get to start with Gary. Uh I will say I will say as a free action, I have an idea that could take a lot of them out if you guys want to wait a second. I'm if not, go ahead. For, so we're in combat. I'm just going to reveal where the other guys were. <laughs> I love this fucking picture. <laughs> uh, what is this fucking picture? Let's see, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> it is fucking ridiculous. I love I'm it. Like Joe and I'm going to get you. <laughs> like goddamn prospectors. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that's not the right one. What? Crazy prospector pirate Twi'leks. One second. Okay. Sorry. Check something. Okay. Yeah, I need to I can't check something because I think I wrote down the wrong power. The fuck? Copy the wrong one out of my thing. Let's see if I can get those guys. No All right. Well, I'll at least work on taking one of them out. You can get your plan up and running. I'll try and provide cover fire. I'll move. I... Let's see. Let's see. Quickly check if I move to there. Actually... Yeah, oh, no, I, 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 these bush, these bush look at things are are trees that are tall enough that they're not really giving cover. So, okay. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick to what I have, but I meant to take force slam, not force blast. I got them mixed up. Oh well. Um, since my line of sight also goes through an ally, technically if I were to move back, does that put like a risk of the having? Ah, does that affect my roll? Trying to shoot past an ally. 
I don't think so offhand. I think it's um, like they're in melee. But moving back one, that guy you were aiming at, that corner is going to be in the way. Okay, so that corner. I was just wondering like, if that may have been, might, might be a little cover. All right. So let me yeah, no, let me. I'll just move here. And I'm going to uh, focus that. Let's actually get the measure tool and not move my character. <laughs> going to shoot this guy. Uh, and I got the same problem. He's, he's obscured by the corner. Okay. So then... all, all, all the black lines are, are building walls. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's good. Or in the case of the ones nearest you, that's the outer wall of the compound. All right, so it's just these two I can see. Okay. So I'm just going to focus yeah. on the, the guy in the back right here. All right, misunderstood what I was looking at. And... All right, so going after this guy here? Yep. Black on black isn't exactly the greatest. Indicator. Yeah, no. Back the fog of war. Yeah, no, I'm trying to, like, reveal enough to try and be like, and, and this is where the wall is without being, you know, this is what's inside the building. The wall is obscured. Yeah, no, I, I, yep. yeah, that's totally an issue with this, uh, with the wall. All right. Does a 16 hit? 16 hit, and an 18 hits him and drops him. Poor pirate books. They weren't ready. They weren't ready for these. They were just tooting and hollering. All right, Gil. Rushes up, he's back against the wall. Grabs into his pouch. Your friend dropped these. Have them back. I toss a grenade <laughs> right in the room. All right, that has a blast too. Um, same idea of what I was gonna do, but much more explosive and fun. Make my attack roll. Yeah, it hits all of them. <laughs> it's a, against their reflex saves. Oh, that is a hit. <laughs> you got a big damage. Yep. Yeah. Boom! That have been exploded. Ah, cool. <laughs> well, okay. Would that would would that have gotten the one down here as well? Two square. Two square. Uh, you threw it right there. Right here. Oh, yeah. okay. It, it was know. just outside range of, of, of the explosion. I wanted to be able to hit them all, but Mirani dropped Top one. The hit just the right one. All right. Combat over? Uh, combat is technically not over. Has someone else heard that explosion? Of course, they heard the explosion, but here he comes. Peek around the corner, I guess. See what more, more vision I can get from here. Second, roll these initiatives. Oh no! <laughs> cool, I got another grenade. Actually, you have four grenades, don't you? It, yeah, you didn't have any. You bought. There was four on one on each guard, right? One, one, one on each of the Bith guards. Oh, okay. Yeah, so Drop two. Wow, a four. Yes, but they join after we get a chance, so. Yeah, so technically the, anyone whose turn comes before reds gets skipped over until next cycle. Wait, what? Fuck you, but fair enough. Well, no, I, I mean, referring to the, uh, like, uh, the, the pirates. Oh, the pirates. Yeah, any pirates who, whose turn would start before we can't come back around to Kiri get skipped over. So me and uh, Red still have a... So, uh, where are you moving to, Gil? I'm already where I am. Oh, you're already where you are. 
Peek okay. around the corner and see if I can see anything more from my position. Ta-da. Is that a, a ten antenna? Or ten uh, uh, that, that, that's, a, that's a big tower of some kind. You make they were tanks and I wanted to shoot them. <laughs> there, there, are, there are tanks on top of the tower. Is that is where I was, not cover? Technically? I would have been there. I still could have made the, made the roll. But yeah, you still could have shot the... I, yeah. I, yeah. Black, I saw these black lines. I thought they were also... Yeah, yeah. these black lines... Yeah, no, that, that, that was just apparently I missed the spot when I revealed the area. Well, we didn't reveal this then, damn it. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, I'm going to move there, and uh, that's all I'm doing for now. This droid isn't exactly good for combat. Okay. Um. Move out. What do I stay in cover? Oh. Uh, no, I'm going to stay right here. There's a wall right there, right? Who keeps pinging that? Me. Try to get Sovac to clear it. No, I, uh, I think it makes a noise, dude. Um. What do I see when I try to come around the corner? I just see death and destruction and the tower, but I don't see anybody else. Sevik? Hello. Hey. Hi. I apparently was muted for some reason. <laughs> I must have one excuse. Okay. Um, yeah, no. Uh, yeah, you just see the um, what's already been revealed. Uh, how large? Yeah, technically, technically down, like a uh, technically down south in that that open area where the white is is a door. How um, large is that tower? That tower is like a good like sixty fifty feet tall. You I had bought. to put it in a scale of gargantuan or colossal. Which I mean. It's a background object, but hang on, let me. I may try to lift the tower if it's not colossal and just throw it. It's got a six by six square, so that's what colossus. And then. I'm going to move as much as I can into the open. Be about there. No, no, it's a no, it's a five by five square. Ten. Yeah, five by five. And I'm going to activate force shield on myself, waiting for whatever's coming. Okay, and uh, that brings us back to Kiri's turn. Then, if nothing else, so you, for, force shield is a reaction. You don't activate it on your turn. You activate it when someone shoots at you. I thought I can be activated on your turn and maintained, or it's a reaction. Oh, it's a reaction. Never mind. I'll wait. Okay. Then I won't use it. Um, if I go under one of the trees, could I use like the tree trunk as like a like some kind of form of partial cover? Or um, yeah, I'd say you could use it for partial. All right. So I shall move to here, and I get my uh, rifle out, and I just. Okay, the question here, is this door open, or... That door is now currently open. Okay. I'm gonna, like... Can you do, like, prepared actions with this system? Like, if I see, like, a bad guy coming through here, could I, like, uh, prep a shot against it? Um... That actions... Swift, prone, drop, catch, second, win. Wait, move, draw, withdraw, stand up, manipulate, grapple. Does not look like it. 
Eh, well, it was a thought. Then I guess I just have my rifle out, and that's my turn. You can rig. Oh, I can? Oh, you can rig? Yeah. Alright, then I'll yeah. basically be... Based on my... Essentially, you have your, your uh, initiative to whenever it gets... It happens. Mm-hmm. Your initial initiative after that. Yep, so if some guy comes out of here, I'll take a shot. Okay. So you still technically can't see that guy there. Um, but that is his turn. Gil. Carrying mats, I think the ram. Um, pop up, move forward up to the door, begin. Okay, that's uh, reveal. Keep losing track of where the reveal tool is. Come on, massive group, no ambies. That's what you see. What are these? What are these? Uh, these things? Uh, those are couches and makeshift tables made of boxes. Well, another good. <laughs> Well, I think you should have this back. <laughs> okay, we'll see. Um. Oh. Yeah, no, that misses all of them. <laughs> they all somehow duck out of the <laughs> shrapnel. Yeah, they all they, they, they all, all kind of duck and cover. Nine damage then. Uh. I could be tall for you in just a moment, hon. Just that, and I'll be right back. I need to get more grenades. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you. I thought you bought some at the start, or did you not? I think no. it's a license thing. No, we don't. We at first start here. Up, up two mil. I mean, Sorry, up two. two We had to talk with Sovic if we wanted to get some of the military and give him background reasons. If I would have known that, I would have had uh, some armor plating. Oh, well. Really? Apparently, force <laughs> force blast. I really should have realized is one target. Force slam is the A AOE one I wanted, but it's a bit late to be changing such things out now. That sounds a little backwards. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I know. That's what I thought. Just looks lost and confused. It's like where am I supposed to go? Is yeah, I took, I heard blast. I read blast, and I was like. Yeah, this is fine, and I was just in type out my cheat sheet mode. I wasn't really reading what I was typing out. It even sounds like a bl blast. You use the force to create a ball of compressed air and debris around you and hurl it at enemy targets. Yet, supposedly, it's only one target within 12 squares? I am back. Alright, let's other guys. Okay, so that dropped two guys, and the Rodian just looks pissed off. Which brings us to red. Yay! Um, 
I'm going to go over here. Um, wait, is this a computer console? Down at the south, yes. All right, where was I? It was here. Uh, shit. I can't even get there if I... What's run speed again? Oh, wait, I can't run. Straight line yeah, you, times four. You're a droid, you can't run. You don't have the right kind of locomotion to do that. Uh, you you got to hobble along on your wheels. Uh, all right, let's see. Yeah, I will go my 12 squares out this way. Wait, where was it? Okay. This. Ah, God damn it. Ping that again, please. Thank you. There. And that's my turn. All right, Bly. You could run there. He can't. He doesn't have the right locomotion to be able to run. He just has the wheels. Yeah. I have wheels, walking, and uh, magnetic. Yeah, yeah. Because he doesn't have legs, he can't make a run action. Yeah. Um. I'm looking Rodanian in here. Yeah, that's great. I can't get uh, far enough to get into. Well, I can draw his attention when a such a negative thing to do, but it's I didn't kill him. I stand there and and uh get his attention so hopefully they'll focus on me. I'm uh prepare to swing if he comes in range. Okay. And that Ready to us, swing. That brings us to the weak way pirate. They come flooding out the door, and they're like, who let a droid out here? And the weak cave pirate is going to try and shoot at Bly. He's probably miss. going to miss Bly. That is a miss. That brings us back to Kiri. There's um, some advantage to that. Uh, would you say if I were to move in that this uh, this square here, I'd be behind a rock or not? Really? You'd, you'd be behind a, a small enough rock that you could crouch behind it for partial. All right, I'll do that. I'll move up to here, crouch, get behind, and uh, mm, kind of edging. I don't think I got good line of sight. Was there, I'd have, but here I, uh, I don't he'd have. have he'd have probably partial cover, wouldn't he? Yeah, partial cover. Uh, let's see. Uh, I do have keen shots, so I have no penalty roll when attacking a target and concealment, but not total. So, could take a shot. So, I don't have any negative for that, so. Do, 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 do. Nope. I very much doubt I hit. Uh, you do not hit. Oh, that's my turn. Alright, uh, the Rodian is going to come at you guys with a sword. <laughs> right, the second he gets in range, I swing. Okay. Um... Go for it, because it's a normal lightsaber. This, we're in a hurry. I can't stun these guys. Uh, I don't think I hit. Wait. Uh, you, you did not. Right. I swing, but I swing wide. Here, real quick. But my normal lightsaber is out now. It would take me an action to put it away and get, pull out the stun saber.
Do you got a swing on me? Hang on, I, I'm trying to look up something, but the book is stupid. Hey, wait, I know this Rodian. Bob, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> he looks away, suddenly, fuck. Damn you, Gil. I actually knew you, you asshole. Eh. Uh, yeah, so far no one has known that I actually could um, make an attack. Alright, I'm just going to assume it's all statted to be proper. Weird. Alright, he's going to attack you. It's like that weird aquilish with a giant hole in uh, it. He's going to use his pyro blade. Only Neotag might have strikes. seen that. <laughs> Okay. Miss. All right, that's his turn. Gil. You know, Neotag, did you even pay attention to the fact that there was a dead guard in that other room with a hole in him when you grabbed your stuff? No, he didn't. No, I didn't. In fact, right about that time. So, yeah, no one actually knows that so, I have any attack as, capabilities. As, as Gil's turn starts, a siren starts blaring. <laughs> no one finished the uh, third week. <laughs> no one finished the third uh, Aqualish. I mean, he wasn't dead. No, no you said he was dead. Double tapped him. <laughs> you said I put a big hole in him. Yeah. That that means he's bleeding out. He technically has a chance to 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 make a, a save to avoid dying outright. I no, didn't know uh -huh. that, dude. I honestly. No, so that's why. That. That's exactly why Flux has been going around double tapping everyone because he's the one who explained that. Well, hold on. How much damage did Red do? And dropped him a and lot. Yeah, uh, Red, Red, actually, no, you know what? If Red uh, his damage well, threshold, he would have died without any chance to get back up. Yeah, Red yeah, definitely no. hit the damage. Threshold. Okay, never mind then. <laughs> I, I I killed him by a lot. <laughs> yeah. No, you, you you did like double his damage threshold. Like shot out his heart. <laughs> When you say I left a hole in him, you mean I he's now missing a quarter of his chest. That's what I assumed. Yeah, yeah. okay. No, never mind. All right, Gil. Okay. Gil's going to move back to withdraw. So there is no siren. <laughs> just going to shoot at the shoot at the Romanian then. Wait, is withdrawal standard action? To move action. Oh, cool. So you can move and still attack. Although, it, yeah, it's, it's a move action, but it's you can still let your rage attack, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it mainly means you can uh, don't get threatened, don't get off attacked. Fair enough. Yeah. But you must move one step. You must have one square of movement to get out of there threatened, and then you must move a while back as well. Yeah. So it's essentially you must move a set number, a set different. Enough that you can't, like, withdraw and then come back in for, like, a melee. That's yeah. Nice. Oh, I mean. Uh, that's a 19 and a 16. And then 17 and 11. They keep, again, the add-in point-blank range. Okay. Uh, they skim past them, but they don't seem to hit. Okay. Fuck it. We're gonna re-roll one of those then. Is he getting a negative five because is it technically a melee? No, I I point I have a precise shot. Doesn't oh, matter. Okay. Yeah. But even with precise shot, they were they were still near misses. Fair enough. Oh. I don't think oh, that doesn't wait. Give me um, that doesn't wow. that doesn't right. Hold on a second. <laughs> um I think we broke the map. <laughs> How did you get it? Zero. I'm seeing you rolled a fifth. Wait. Hold on. How, what? <laughs> yeah. That, that math does not make sense to me. So so what? Asks, starts, like, stops so so when it asks you, you have a modifier. You know, literally, what happens is he shoots and it just stops and goes straight in the air, and everyone involved stops and starts doing math. Hold on. When it asks you to add a modifier, you could do a negative or a positive. Do not add a plus before that positive, however. 
<laughs> it will it will double positive and negative. So, yeah, no, I, I can imagine what just happened is he pulled the trigger and the bolt shot up through the handle and out the top of the gun and everyone just kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> it was an 11. What? How did that turn into a flare? <laughs> then gravity takes it and it drops down and hits the Redanian. <laughs> <laughs> Call me in love. Uh, all right, if that's your turn, we go now to red. All right. Yay! I'm going to head over to the console and plug myself in, if I can. Cool. Uh, make a computer's check. All right. 28. All right, you have access. You can open these doors if you want. I open the doors. You open the doors. We reveal area. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> A new challenger approaches. Uh. Uh, what is Mountain Best? <laughs> you just had to use that one, didn't you? Yeah, uh. technically, from the console knows everything that's in there. <laughs> Shit. All right. I whistle uh, so, over. Uh, we, we get to add some new people to the initiative tracker now. <laughs> I, I whistle uh, uh, out to everyone that uh, uh, we're out of time. They're already here. I shut up the droid. Now, had had Red taken the time to ask, can I see what's in the hangar first? I would have told them the Imperials are there. <laughs> can he close the door? Not this turn. Ready in action to close. <laughs> Them and killing them. Uh, you know, I was just trying to hurry up and uh, get us an escape route, but. Uh, well, we kind of got an escape route. We just got to kill a couple guys to get it. Yeah, yeah, we do. Not the worst thing in the world. Why it's making me, like, pop out, edit, then unedit to make the actual character sheet show up? Oh, man. I was hoping we still had a few more rounds before the Imperials got here. Told you guys not to trust him. He's in cahoots with Imperials. He's got an Imperial color scheme. He's here to set us up. Alright, so, um... I moved and did my action, so I actually can't do anything else. You have to hope that you get a turn. You'll get enough of a turn before, the, before they can get out of the room. Descending. Do back red. And that's red's turn, so we go back now to Bly. I'm going to go for a battle strike on this guy, since he appears to be particularly hard to hit. The, uh... That's 26. That's Mac. Uh, okay. Uh, what does that use the force check to do? Uh, on battle strike, it determines what, I, what bonuses I get. Okay. I have to do that as a swift action before I attack. Alright, your attack then. 26. You hit? Well, that's not 19 damage. One. Uh, give that's me a second. True. Is an extra 3d6 damage. Well, bear in mind, at this point, you do have your regular lightsaber if you want to be. Oh no, that's what I'm using right now. Well, then it, then it would be regular damage, just like your stun saber. It says an or DR. It doesn't say stun yeah, then it is 19 damage. Yeah. Okay. No, no, I mean, I get a battle strike. I'm doing extra damage. Oh, okay. All right, roll the extra damage. So that's uh, 30 damage. All right. You managed to drop him. 
30 damage. That should get past the threshold. That did. <laughs> this man this man has been you have literally decapitated this man. Hey, where was your stun and saber there? Why didn't you stun him? <laughs> Supposed to be minimizing casualties, bud. Reeks of the darkness. <laughs> uh yeah, self defense. Man yeah. trying to stab you first. Shortcuts of the path to the dark side, Neo. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm going to have no choice. Do I see them over my shoulder? Uh, yeah, you do. You do notice them. Oh wait, you're using a I lightsaber. Don't have a choice. I'm going to turn to face them. You're using a lightsaber, and the Imperials see you. And I have a deep-seated hatred of the Empire. I don't have a choice. Wait. If you have a deep-seated hatred of the Empire, how come you didn't blast me because I'm... Kill the droid. I mean, you don't really have any overt Imperial markings. You, I'm Imperial, imperial colored. colored. This dude definitely has an Imperial tramp stamp somewhere on his droid chassis. <laughs> <laughs> there is somewhere a giant symbol that says made 100% human. 100% alien free. <laughs> I, okay. I turn to that guy and I... And I walk the full length I can there and get ready. Okay. Look, I gave my character a couple of flaws and uh, I'm role playing them. Oh, this ought to be fun. That off the side here. All right, Weakway Dude comes out. Uh, He sees everything that's going on here. uh, And he's going to try and shoot Flux. Oh, focus on the Jedi. Focus on everyone else. Cut my <laughs> I me. literally cut your boss in half. He's like, me, wait, 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 hold on. I know you. He wants no part of that. Hey, Jeff. I, I, no, hold on, Jeff. We can be buds. That doesn't do shit. <laughs> we can be buds, Jeff. Whew. Fuck you, Jeff. <laughs> no, you can be buds, Jeff. Jeff. You'll be forever, Jeff. hundred years, Jeff. <laughs> All right, uh, that's going to be his turn. Now, do we get another round? Because they don't know. Yeah, they. Okay. Yep, so now we're back round. Okay. Uh, you just saw me with my saber blaring, just kind of walk casually. I get behind the rock right here, and I'm going to take a shot at uh, Jar Jar over there. <laughs> Fuck you. That the gun gets the force user. Is it ready for you? There's a 17 hit. Okay, uh, you shoot at Jar Jar. Um, and he kind of like makes a stumble as the bolt looks like it hits and kind of like falls over. Uh, He's playing dead. Fucking <laughs> Like, how good was his performance? Do we have to get uh, to roll perception, something? Perception checks if you want to see if he actually got hit. Uh, can I just roll the perception check? Or... Yeah, just yeah, roll the perception checks. Anyone who wants to see him can see him. You can't see him, r 2 d 20 <laughs> I'm still connected to the computer. Yes, I can. I can see Actually, the whole yeah, room. No, he, he might be able to tell just from the the status in there. In Wait the a cruise. second. Wait a second. Wait a second. I don't need to roll a perception check on that because being hooked up to the computer, my auto map feature can actually do and tell see. if he's alive or dead. Yeah. yeah. Uh, everyone except for the droid who's currently hooked into the literal life support sensors. Believes that this man just took a blaster bolt to the chest and died. Wow, he 15 on, and 19. On, yeah, you know, he put on a damn good, like, fucking Shakespearean performance of his death. Oh, gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> you, you know he's not dead. The rest of us don't. No, he just said. Oh, I, I misheard him. Yeah, yeah. No, you know we don't. Uh, and, hang on. 
there, there's a weird blip on those life sensors, but he's still reading his alive. Okay. Are you, were you <laughs> rolling to see if he fools the computer? I was rolling for something. Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> 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 Jeff just tried to shoot you, Gail. What you gotta do? Is Flux talking? Oh, he's muted. Sorry. It's not. Shooting this weak way. Papa. That is one dead weak way. <laughs> you Fuck you, like, Jeff! Give the chest and the head. We could have been friends. Gil, Gil, confident that we've dealt with the problem, starts to walk out. Two, three, sees the Imperial, turns back around. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, four, five, six, and goes behind a tree. <laughs> I've got the image of the ho of Homer just kind of phasing into the bush. <laughs> All right, stormtrooper officer's turn. Uh, he's gonna come up here. Was he fooled by the fake death? Uh, he's gonna walk past the guy, and he's gonna try and shoot Bly. Close a few extra tabs here now. They're dead. They're dead. All of them get grenaded. Dead. Cut in half. Dead. Grenaded. Yeah, shoot his pistol. Oh, shit. Well. Fucking Nat 20 did. Shit. Fucking, fucking quick draws the Jedi. <laughs> okay, one second. Uh oh. What? Uh oh. What? <laughs> Did, did yeah, this just, is going to uh, hurt. But, th that's definitely over your threshold, dude. Yeah, I know. I'm going to have to use it. Let's I'm see, going to, like a as a reaction, <laughs> using a force point, because I don't think I can make it with the check. I'm going to use negate energy. Succeeds automatically. I negate one attack. <laughs> can you use it on the, the, the times two? Wait, no, that, it, wait, um, no, that's not how it works. <laughs> oh, that's just to regain hit points. Um, let's see, what can I do then? Try to negate it, but I don't know. That's going to be a hard task with a thirty-four. Let me see. I, I got to, I got to read uh, the full entry for negate energy. Do what I negate? What is your energy? threshold? Definitely not thirty-four. <laughs> not thirty-four. <laughs> Yeah, definitely not 34. My character might be dead <laughs> second. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> well, you know, the Jedi made a heroic sacrifice to help the adventuring party get out of prison. And then when we continue the campaign... I want to point out, I want to point out, Neo's, Neo's swagger. I, 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 I see drawn. I, I have... Forces, I the have... They just get drawn. Drawn. What, what literally <laughs> just happened is the Indiana Jones sword scene. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait a second. <laughs> Uh, what is threshold? That's like your negative H points to die. Uh, it, it's no. a it's a damage number. Which if you go well, no, I can just deflect it. Um, I, I, I don't it, have to go to... against. I don't believe with deflect. I have to go against uh, the damage dealt. Give me a second. Uh, what it is is if it, it's uh, if if you take more than that damage at once, it's very bad. Yeah, you move down a condition tracker, which eventually, if you survive long enough to fully move down the tracker renders you helpless and you just kind of fall to the floor. Yeah, but if if that attack breaches your threshold and drops you to zero, you're just straight out dead. Yeah. Yeah. One second, I gotta look at something. Most of these guys have had, like, an 11 threshold, so killing them has not been that hard. Most of you have been over-killing them, just straight up. Oh god, I thought, like, 30 damage to the one that was in yeah, the, uh, the yeah, room. Yeah, pretty so much yeah. All, the, all the pirates except the Rodi had, had 9 HP and 11 damage threshold, so... Deflect means you have to beat the DC of his attack wall. And the DC would be? 25. <laughs> I think you're going to have to burn a couple force uh, points. Corn, that is a coin flip for me. You need to burn some uh, force uh, points. I'm 
raising my hands in the hope. You know what? You know what? I'm glad we talked about it. I'm burning a destiny point to guarantee I succeed on a four skill. <laughs> you have a destiny point? Yeah, yeah. we get three. Wait, we have oh. three? I only have one yeah. item down. You no, know, three. Know. You're level three. You get one per level. Oh, okay. Oh. I raise my hand and negate the energy of its attack. <laughs> well, I made a picture Swag. of like DBZ. You raise your hands and the beam just goes up. It, it's the Darth, it's literally the Darth Vader thing. Yeah. You can't yeah. Actually place that on the force. You can't <laughs> use it just to make the attack miss, however. I thought I could use it to guarantee a force uh, power succeeds. Automatically score a crit, automatically cause a miss, act out a turn, take damage that will otherwise harm another character within your reach, increase the effect of some force powers as noted, immediately gain three force points. That's it. Then what the f Yep, that's the use of destiny points. Oh, okay, then I make it miss. Fine. Instead, it's Roddy. <laughs> no, instead, <laughs> your destiny is a she draws <laughs> so fast. He shoots straight down and right into the Gungan's head. <laughs> it just throws a hole in the wall behind you guys. <laughs> God damn it. I tried. Okay, that sucks. Cause I could have sworn I had the option to automatically succeed on one force check if needed. For, <laughs> As for the massive energy. blaster bolt goes through the wall, Bly starts looking back at the mine thinking if there's other passageways out of here. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Trooper's going to move up. Uh, and so it missed. Yeah, it missed. Yep. Yeah. And we're just going to shoot at Cathar. I'm in partial cover. That does not hit. Even if I wasn't in partial cover. And that brings us back to red. Okay. Um, at this point, might as well leave the doors open. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> what else can I do with the computer? Um, I don't know if you can use like a crane to drop a crate on them. No, there's there's not anything you could really seem to do from that computer besides open the the actual hangar doors for the ships to be able to fly out. Are they closed? Currently, they are closed. Then I'm going to open the hangar. Okay, you fully open the hangar doors in the back, and they're uh, shielded, aren't they? Uh, they are not shielded. Oh no. But, uh. <clears throat> is that your turn, Red? Uh. I disconnect from the computer at that point. Uh, okay. Alright, Bly, it is your turn. Yeah, so, no. yeah, now that the hangar's open, we have an escape as soon as we deal with these. Few people See, left. I gotta get in range. Give me a second to measure some shit out. One, three. One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, no, I can make that work. Uh, are these missiles? Are they uh, actual missiles, or they just look like they're, they're standard cargo? They they are sealed up and deactivated, but they are missiles. They are missile heads, yeah. Okay. <laughs> they, they'd just be really big containers at this point. Yeah, I know. They're large size, correct? Uh, technically, they're size huge. Size of a horse. So that'd be large size, right? Technically, they're huge. Technically huge? Okay. Because they, they are three spaces long. Then I got to roll a five or above. Oh, I think I know what you're about to do. You're going to start throwing shit. Uh, oh, oh! I could pick up their fucking ship and throw at it with that. <laughs> if you do that, we're, 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 there'll be words. No, it's, unfortunately, it's out of range. I can't. Um, can't oh actually. Um, would you let me pick up two, or do you? Does just, it, just the one. Uh, I'm gonna pick up the one and throw it at at the the leader and that stormtrooper, and probably hit him too. Just for the record, I don't care about the body. All right. Okay, you throw it at them, and where you think the body is? Yeah, where I think the body is. <laughs> um, 
They've uh, got to make a your if it needs. Oh, you just got out. My use of force check must exceed their reflex defense. Which it does. <clears throat> um does it matter that I didn't lift something up that wasn't uh gargantuan size? What matters is the roll. So that is uh, 8d6 damage. Alright, roll it. Oh, shit. That's a lot of damage. It's uh, based on the roll. Now, I, I was three away, three away from lifting that tower up, out, uh, up and throwing it outside. I'll put it this way. See so your damage. <laughs> 22 damage. Nice. They hit their thresholds. Uh, he's definitely down. Oh wait, I shouldn't have disconnected from the computer yet. You want to watch this? I no. There, there's a very stupid reason why I shouldn't have disconnected from the uh, thing. I could All right, here it is. And like, on move object, I could use a force point to increase the damage and size, or destiny point to increase so, it uh, again. He's not happy, but the officer is alive. <laughs> Damn. He looks very beat up, though. <laughs> looks like his, his non-shooting arm might be broken. Too bad it wasn't what a happened? shooting arm. What happened to the body? Uh, you can't see the body currently. <laughs> God damn it. Did I just JoJo steamroll what I thought was a body? No. It's now Stormtrooper's turn. Okay. Uh, he's going to run up, and he's going to try and gun down the Jedi. And he's going to miss. Because he's crit. a Stormtrooper. Oh, God damn it, no. Drop him. <laughs> I swear to God, you crit again. <laughs> yeah, nine. Okay. All right, well, that's his turn. Can I get perception checks for everybody real quick? Um, uh, yeah, hold on. Well, everyone who can see into the room. Okay. Can I erase my previous mistake that I uh, that I connected? Because I forgot uh, I didn't want to. No, you can. You disconnected. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. Persuasion. What? Oh, took five. a couple minutes afterwards. I was like, oh wait, no, I shouldn't have can done I take that. Take that. It's the same five no. model. You gotta roll it. Fuck you! No way I'm gonna roll. Oh, I had 23. Alright, you think you see something, Neo, uh, for, for like a half second, but it's too late. Uh, the ramp for the shuttle seems to have closed, but you're not sure when. And then the engines come on, and it flies out. <laughs> That stupid Gungan got away. <laughs> the only indication the Imperials had that anything happened is as their ship flies off and they look very confused. <laughs> I say the Gungan went away as I'm still staring at them. Does that change their reaction? Uh, no, they're just, they're, they seem just equally dumbfounded. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Um... All we, right. just opened, we just opened the door for the endgame big baddie to be uh, alive still. <laughs> and, uh, Oops. Well, 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 that was my stupidity. That, that Gungan knows you have a lightsaber, by the way, and use force powers. I'm going to go shoot the uh, stormtrooper that just I, shot I, I will point out. Uh, Neotag, do you, I, I will let you make a quick use the force check. He to try and sets the force. Who's the motherfucker that had force? That's a 30. Uh, you can tell that he was trying to use the force to fake that he was dead. He's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, man. Alright, Gary, what do you want to do? 
I said I was going to shoot the Stormtrooper that shot at Neo, but I'm guessing a 14 probably is not going to hit. Actually, hang on, let me double check that. Stormtroopers have decent, but not the best. What's a blaster carbine lethal? Uh, car the blaster carbine has two settings. Lethal oh, you, 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 you just miss. <clears throat> I figured. Brings us back round to Gil. Gil's just hiding in a bush. I'm going to take a shot at the imp with a broken arm. <laughs> hmm. There's plenty of other ships to take, though. Yeah, no, we've got... I, mean, that's I was partial nice to the ship. orange one myself. One for each of us. See you guys. <laughs> I, didn't si I didn't sign up with no, no Jedi who has a death warrant on his head now. <laughs> well, technically, there's no death warrant if they aren't alive to report it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> He's a pirate. He's not a fucking there's, Jedi. And he's a Jedi. Regardless, there's a, there's a standing warrant on his head. I am associated with no Jedi. I'm going to pistol shoot the uh, Imperial leader. Okay. Well, Sovek, I think you're quite happy with my foolish little mistake. 16 or 14? Alright, yeah, you, you drop him, and as he's trying to cling to life as he drops to his knees, you pop him one more time right between the eyes. <laughs> Some of us have to make sure these guys don't get back up. You guys see that? I killed the boss! <laughs> Hang on, who killed the Rodian again? Neo did. I cut him uh, in half. After you, I yeah, softened yeah. him you, up. You, you, both, you, you, you have equally killed the bosses, because both the Rodian and the officer were the same challenge rating. I softened up the Rodian for his chicken explosives, so it's cool. All right. <laughs> and officer <laughs> dead, so he can't do anything. Guard starts. Um. Be real cool if you had a gun, bud. Let's see. What can I do? I mean, you can move and shoot him. <laughs> I got something I can do if I have to. Opening a opening up the compartment is a move action, so I wouldn't be able to do that anyway. Yeah, sounds like a terrible design. I'm built for stealth. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm gonna hold my action until uh, they finish taking care of things. Okay, that brings us to Bly. Alright. Bly's going to start gathering up little bits of dirt and debris and he's going to make her use of force check. Can't get up there to, with his saber. That's 30. Okay. That's a lot. Force um, choke the son of a bitch. <laughs> is, is that more than his reflex defense? Oh, that's definitely more. All right, so. That's a force blast. Okay. He gets, he gets hit with a peppering of small stones, stick, dust, and just all amplified. All right, it smacks into him, and one particularly hefty little bit of rock just smacks him right in the head and caves his helmet in. I suggest we leave. Um, Droid, could you transmit if there's anything into the place? If you're leaving, leave now. And I'm going to go look for a ship. While they're doing that, I'm going to go over here and investigate. I'm going to run back in, check if there's anything in their common room. All right. Heal the rest of the... Red, are you going to, like, tell the rest of the compound that if they want to leave, they can leave now? Um... I tra I open up my internal comms to the uh, network and in binary chirp that uh, everyone oh, can leave right. if they want the network to. that's currently screeching at you? <laughs> Alright. Wait, is it still no. screeching? Yeah! Is it yeah. still screeching all this time? Left his goblin hooked up to be screeching so that you could maintain the, the system. Oh, 
Okay, oh, yeah, I didn't never know mind. that. Okay, never mind. That's right. So, I, like, like you, you, you've had it constantly feeding feedback into their comm system, essentially, by leaving it there. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if it was still not... Okay. Um. Then, no, I didn't do that. <laughs> I'm going to slice the, this crate open and see what supplies are inside. You destroy the contents. These are crates, <laughs> right? I, I'm trying to find where you are. Uh, those are big crates, yeah. They were filled with smuggled puppies. Sadly, you stuck your lightsaber in. Uh, no, I'm cutting the lock off and opening it real quick. Lock off and a bunch of unprocessed ore falls out. That's it. Make a reflex save before you get crushed. <laughs> oh no, it falls out the front part over down here. Yeah. Anything in this, this room, Sonic? Uh, that has... About 700 credits worth of credit chips just kind of lying around inside the various containers and such. I grab them. Oh. Good number um, here. Oh. And up there seems to have their uh, foot lockers um, with like their spare, a couple spare ammo clips in each one. If we want to go after that gun and we need to get out there quickly. I snatch those and run back to the book group. Uh, so, but can I tell which which of these two big ships are um, best suited for our ragtag bunch of idiots? Um, well, both ships uh, are roughly equal. You can tell that the this one seems to be a little older, but it seems to be um, designed to be as adaptable as possible. Uh, All right. Well, this one seems to be a bit newer and sturdier. All right, I'm going to make a mechanics check to determine which one is best optimal for me to be able to maintain to and uh, while he's doing that. What? Um, think you can fly one of those fighters? Uh, why isn't it? Why isn't it doing? I could take a, oh, there you are. Pilot, I could take a look. I think I could fly them. Maybe. All right, that's a twenty-three. Okay, you know that the orange one, for some reason, um, ha seems to have only parts which are incredibly reliable and sturdy. They're not, they're not going to be they're not the most state of the art parts, but you feel like they're going to be almost impossible to not find replacement parts, and that it'd be way easier to repair at any given time, regardless of what part of it breaks. All right, I whistle over. I, I I whistle over in binary that we should get on the orange one, and I okay start. I uh, get on board. Um, I have an I I had an idea. I was talking. I do want to check one other thing real quick because I don't remember if the other ship has its own built-in special. I'm just gonna I was asking Kiri if Kiri thinks he can fly one of the fighters and play escort. Uh, I think I could just do a pilot check. I'm guessing. There, fuck. Oh, so I'm checking first. Yeah. Fucking thing was stuck. Come on, which fucking book has this? Uh, Meanwhile, the the uh, what is your what is your character's actual thing called? It's uh, scoundrel. The scoundrel is scoundering. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm definitely losing these Imperials. Yeah, you. The scoundrel is scoundering. Meanwhile, the droid's getting the ship for all of us together. The Jedi and the soldier are trying to get, like, an escort up and running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The scoundrel and the scoundrel droid are scoundreling up <laughs> some stuff. While I'm, sca while I'm sca scavenging, uh, if they're breathing, I pop them. Just, let's just say that might be full. Okay. Um, I think two of them got crushed to death. The only one did. Fine, keep your secrets. I'll go to Google. <laughs> <laughs> no, I find it funny that so far, um, the only actual combat I've done has been hidden from everyone. Yep. I mean, that's the way you built your character. Yes. Character. Mm -hmm. 
So. Totally did. Quick question. I'm guessing with a 13, I probably can't tell if I could fly any of these fighters. Oh, no, you know if you can fight them. Right. Um, I know if I can fight them. Yeah, no, my thought is Kiri's character could fly one of the fighters and the rest of us get on the transport. Fly well, as escorts, then we meet up at some planet and then get on the yeah. cell ship. Well, I I suspect the Gungi, Gungan might be waiting for our asses. I think the only reason he got on that ship is because it's the only one that was ready to go. I mean, the fighters, those fighters are kind of useless to us because I'm pretty sure that those are, would be not hyperdrive enabled. Okay, um, yeah. you know that the other ship basically has the exact opposite. Basically, uh, the top one gives a plus two to all mechanics checks made to repair. The other one gives a minus two to all mechanics checks made to repair. Yep, we're going orange one. <laughs> the, only, the only difference being that the um, the bottom one has more ability to be modified, but we're, we're, because of all of its systems are touchy and state of the art, they're going to be more finicky. Yeah, got to take old reliable. Um. Uh, as as for the as for the fighters over here, Kiri, you know that the the four identical ones are horribly out of date. These things are like older. Than the, Wars? These these things are pre Clone Wars, yeah. Um, and one below. Whereas you, you you definitely recognize the other one as as a good old reliable Z ninety five head funner. And is it hyperspace capable? It is hyperspace capable. Okay. Oh. Yeah, no. One like, of the fighters we'll actually fighter in the transport. Let's go. All right. I'll, all right. I'll try and provide you covers from the Z ninety five. So Kiri's going to go into the go into the fighter, and the rest of you going to go board the uh, the freighter. Yeah, and I'll pilot well, it. Well, Flux wants to know what he gets. What he got off the Imperials. Off the Imperial bodies. Ah, yes. Off the Imperial bodies, you have. Did you want to loot any of the other bodies too, or? Taking that time for them. Uh, actually, I'll loot loot, loot the Rodanian. Okay, well, let's go with the stormtroopers first. Well, if the Redanian had any armor, it's probably back, gone. But uh, the stormtroopers all had stormtrooper armor, a uh, blaster rifle, a single frag grenade, and a utility belt with a med pack. Those blaster rifles have fun. Med pack and grenades. Sweet. Yeah, take the utility belts. They're very useful. The officer had a pistol, um, an imperial code cylinder. An encrypted comm link and his uniform. And Rodian. Game wants to show a sheet. There we go. He had a blaster rifle with enhanced targeting scope, a holdout blaster, a vibro blade, a vibro dagger. He also had an encrypted comm link, but you already know the encryption for that comm link. It's the same network that uh, you guys put the feedback on. And he also had a utility belt with med pack. Um, I'm going to ignore the armor and clothes and the guns, other than the, the enhanced, the modified blast rifle. I'm going to rush into the ship. Okay, you guys uh, all blast off into space. Um, there seems to be no sign of the shuttle the Gungan was on. He seems to have already hit the the big Basically, button. He, he just got the hell out of Dodge. And uh, there you go. You have escaped prison right at 10 o'clock on the dot. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> this was fun. Right, quick test of communications. I'm able to communicate with the uh, whatever whatever we named the uh, orange ship. I, am I getting through them? Uh, the orange ship does currently have um, a name that just says um, in the registry on the computer system if you if <laughs> Pull up its systems. It's um, currently registered as the Fringer's Pride. Um, what do I need? Pride? What do I need uh, to roll to uh, change that? Um, Computer that, or mechanic? That is something I don't know offhand. We'll have to look up. Normally, that needs to slice like kind of person. Yeah, I, as far as I know, that's something you normally need, like a specialized thing. Like I can tell you what the checks are and what you need to do it, but you'll need to get your hands on some specialized shit. Yeah, essentially, normally you need to find someone who will file off the zeros of a ship. Yeah. So, we got ourselves a, a jump-capable fighter and a reliable cargo ship. Yeah, Yeah, except we need Probably. to modify it so that it's in our name. Hold on, 
jump capable fire fighter. Yeah, that's what he that's what carries yeah. on. Yep, Z ninety fives have a hyperdrive. It's the reason why Kiri's in the fighter. Well, yeah. <coughs> worst case scenario, if we decide we can sell it down the line. Before we leave, we should, uh, destroy, all the, we should destroy all the other ships. Uh, so no one else can leave. Sure. No, we're, we need to let the other leave. Scraping run. Scraping run. Leave the prisoners a chance to escape. We can take the other ship. Alright, uh, how'd everybody enjoy? I liked it. Uh, this was fun as fuck. Yeah, I love uh, I love the fact that at the start it was actually a challenge to get out. I, I thought doing the bomb crawler thing instead of a traditional prison would be enough of a hiccup that's like oh, it's, it was. It's it's able to be overcome, but like you won't be able to just use pre traditional prison escape tropes and just immediately get out of the prison. Yeah, no, I I was thinking about things like lightsabering it off. Um, Although I do have to say, um, I'm pull. pretty sure you didn't think that I'd be able to uh, just knock the restraining bolt off no, right I, away. I did, which is why those guards were already there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, that, <laughs> that, I wasn't that, so that, sure about it myself. <laughs> that map was already set up that way, with the idea being either you'd be able to get the bolt off and try and find your own way out of there, or you wouldn't be able to get the bolt off, and then eventually they'd have fought your way there out of curiosity while clearing out the area that controls all the callers. <laughs> okay. So one way or the other, you would have gotten out, hopefully. Yeah, one way or the other, Red would have gotten out, and Red <clears> being <throat> the only one here who knows how to work a goddamn computer would have been the only one who had gotten you off of the fucking place. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to uh, jump off soon, because I kind of have to get up early tomorrow. Well, I just, we just need to know if everybody wants to keep going. Oh, I absolutely want I to keep I definitely going. want to. Oh, how are you feeling, Flux? All right. You yeah, know. All right. I'll uh, put some thought into where to go from here, and uh, two weeks from now. Uh, probably, probably in January. Um, okay. I'm, I'm gonna be a little bit. Oh, busy. right. It's it's the twentieth. Yeah, no, that's a bit yeah, much. Christmas. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm gonna be a little busy. Um, probably sometime in January we'd be able to get going again. All right then. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this was fun. I liked it. I it was. I was. I was a little worried when it got down to the wire for me static everything, but it turned out not being that big of an issue since everything died in one hit anyway. <laughs> yeah. You had me scrambling when you rolled that crit. I was like, I could do that. No. Okay, I could do this. No. When I put two guys at challenge rating five, I intended A, for you to fight them separately and not in one giant battle back to back. And B, I really didn't account for like how much damage these things do with a crit. I uh, would have seen it. it it's I would have six it plus two times two. So yeah, that that was really bizarre that you. I would have that. lived, but I would have been down and hurt bad. What was your HP? My HP is forty eight. Oh, so it wouldn't have outright killed you. No. Just but that was uh, way past my threshold. I would have been oh, down. Yeah. And I would have been dropped you enough for us to kill you and then collect the bounty. <laughs> By the way, we're having a discussion. And 